Now you should be able to hear me. <laughs> you can lip read? I was I was going on a whole tirade about what I was about to play, and you guys didn't hear any of it. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I guess the little USB thing came out of my uh, microphone there. Sorry about that. It just wouldn't be one of my streams if you could hear what I was saying when I started, right? <laughs> Hello, everybody. So today I'm doing something different. I'm not playing The Sims today. I am playing Zoo Tycoon 2, which... Uh, thank you so much for the uh, 11 months at Tier 1 Paris Noel. Thank you for the 6 month Risa Fatal Queen. And damn it. Damn it if my sound's not working for some reason. I have no idea why. There, that should work now. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for the 11 month Prime Sub Rianne. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll see if we can hear the desktop sounds next time somebody... Here, let me make it, make a sound, make a sound, desktop. I don't know what to do. Um, what I was, anyway, back to what I was saying. Zoo Tycoon 2 is the best zoo simulator ever made, in my opinion. It's kind of like how Sims 2 is the best Sims game. Zoo Tycoon 2 is also the best Zoo Tycoon game. It seems like your sound alerts browser source is offline. Why is it doing this to me every time? Stream Elements, why are you doing this to me? I heard that. I heard that, but it was very low. Uh, thank you so much for the two months, Meow Mix. Meow Mix, thank you very much. Um, did you guys hear that? Oh, there it goes. Thank you so much for the six month re resub Phobosesia, and thank you for the 100 bits, Mr. Roboto. Thank you. See, they're working now. I don't know, Stream, Element Stream Elements has been doing that to me ever since I like integrated my Stream Elements with OBS. It keeps telling me that my audio source is offline, and then it starts working. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, we're going to play Zoo Tycoon 2 today. Now, I have not played it in years, and uh, you know you can actually still download Zoo Tycoon 2, the complete collection, on Amazon for $19.99. Yes, you can. Yes, you can do that. And um, that's how I got it. I bought it back in 2019 and I just reinstalled it on my computer. It was super easy. It was like, I didn't have to do any tricks or anything. It just worked. Uh, but the only thing is I need to run it in windowed mode and I don't know if I can do it. Um, it, it has an option for windowed mode, but then it just makes it like a tiny little square. So I don't know. Thank you so much for the 11 month resub Melanie. Thank you for the four months gelatin mom. Thank you for the 11 month resub so Florin 259. And thank you for the gifting a sub to Maria Jasmine 333 triple consonant. Thank you so much. Okay, so let me see. Let me run it here. Uh, and thank you for the seven months Bjork 92. Thank you. No, I'm not trying to do borderless window. I'm just I'm just trying to do the windowed mode that is in the game. But it won't I might I might have to do something for the resolution. Here, I'm going to play it. I will ping Discord. Thank you. Thank you. I'm pinging Discord right now. Thank you very much. Um so I have it here, but let me show you. Is it loud? Let me turn it down. Let me turn it down. That's loud. I got it on two. Uh, thank you so much for the five month resub, Megantic. Megantics. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the 290 bits in Queen. Thank you for the tier one sub, Plantsil. And thank you for gifting a sub to Astral Mancy Just Some Sims. Thank you very much. Um, I love the music. Don't you guys love the music? It's so nostalgic. Uh, here we go. Oh, thank you for gifting a sub to Liz Draconis 22 Triple Consonant. Is it too loud? Mods, is it too loud? I've got it down to two, but I can turn it down to one. Uh, 
Uh, thank you so much for the five months, Jersey Girl 1981. It's loud. It seems loud to me, too. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn it down to one. Okay, it's one. That's as low as it will go. Is that better? If I go any lower, it'll be off. <laughs> so, let me show you what I'm doing. So, this is what it looks like on my screen. I gotta play it in this little tiny window. If I wanna play windowed mode right now, if we go to game options, see I can put it in full screen. This is windowed mode. Um, I can make it full screen for you guys, but it's not full screen for me. And I just, I just installed this like literally right before the stream started, so I didn't really have time to play around with it. I'm sure I will be able to fix this for the future. Um, but right now, right now we'll just play it like this. Uh, thank you so much for the nine months hope for us all, and thank you for the two months Pixel Nubu. There's a mod I figured there would, I figured there would be. Okay, I will get that mod. Uh, thank you so much for extending your tier one sub, Dramatic Loser 97 So I want to tell you guys who are here, uh, I'm not going to be playing The Sims for the next six weeks, so... If you don't want to sub to me for the next six weeks, I totally understand. I'm only going to be playing other games like Zoo Tycoon and stuff like that. Tycoon games, Sim games, whatever I feel like playing. Um, I'm taking a break from The Sims because I'm burned out. I'm burned out on it. If you haven't seen all of my announcements that I posted on every single site I could think of. <laughs> uh, Zoo Tycoon is so much fun. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I should have I done a link for this. I should have done, hold on, I'm going to do a link, I'm going to get a link for you guys because if you want to buy it, if you buy it through my Amazon link, I get like five cents. So, help a girl out. Help a girl out, buy it through my Amazon link. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I'll get you one. Zoo Ca Tycoon 2 download. You can buy this legally. I don't know why they don't do this for Sims 2, but you can buy this legally. Uh, and I got to find it for you because it's kind of hard, it's like hard to find on here. But I, the only way I could find it is going through my old downloads. I'm never going to find it now. Uh, give me just a second. I didn't know what I was going to play until like right before. <laughs> right before the stream started. Um, Digital orders. I'm never going to find this. Why is it so hard to find the download version? I don't know. There it is. Okay, one second. I'm making a link. I'm making a link. I'm checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Uh, there's a link, an Amazon link in the chat. If you guys want, if anybody wants to buy Zoo Tycoon 2 Ultimate Collection, download it right now from Amazon legally for $19.99. There's the link for you. Uh, I'm also going to really quick make that a chat command. And also I realize I didn't up update my chat commands. Hold on, we're about to get started, I swear to God. Uh, thank you so much for gifting us up to Bewitch Triple Consonant. Thank you so much. Oh, what the heck was that? Chat commands. Okay, mods, I'm adding a I'm adding a chat command. I, I added a chat command exclamation point zoo. There you can buy zoo tycoon right there. Um and let me change my stream info. Cindy is playing Zoo Tycoon 2 today. Buy it for yourself here. I'm getting my five cents affiliate money. Damn it. <laughs> okay, now we're ready to go. Um, I'm going to try to play it in this tiny little window. We're going to see how that goes. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Claudia Debbie cr Triple Consonant. Let me let me tinker with my mic for a sec. 
Okay, so I am just gonna exit out of this and we're gonna we're gonna play. I like to play a free form game, but do you guys wanna play a challenge? Do you wanna play a challenge or you wanna play a free form? Here, let me ask the chat what you guys wanna do. Uh yeah, I I pinged the Discord. Yeah, I did. Yep, going live on Twitch right now. Bob's and Doug Nut. Oh, but I do oh I'm not online. That's what you're telling me. Oh, oh, yes, I'm not online. Thank you. I'm online now. Thank you very much. Um, so let me do a poll. Let me see what you guys want to do. Do you want to do challenge or free form? Now, challenge would we could start out with like the easiest challenge and just kind of go through that so you can kind of get used to the game, or we could just start out building a zoo, just building a mega zoo. So, uh, poll or free form? Free form is just like sandbox mode. Poll, oops. Poll or free form? Is that what I said? Challenge or free form? Damn it. Free form. I can't remember how to spell words. Okay. There's the poll. So vote in the poll and tell me what you want me to do. Uh. A lion exhibit, then delete all the fences? <laughs> I will not! <laughs> I always play freeform. I hardly ever play the challenges um, in these kind of games, especially Zoo Tycoon. And I, I still remember what my favorite um, terrain is. I don't know if it's called terrain in here. <laughs> Aw, uh, thank you so much, Pizza in the Sky. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys who just show up to see me play stuff. I really do. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Nathan. I did get my reward quests here. Um, all I see is an Ask Me Anything, though. What else did we have? Oh, wait, I had a Beg for Gift Sub. I don't see that one. Uh, Mr. Pleasant Cooking Tutorials win. <laughs> Maybe I can convince him to do one. Maybe I can convince him. Who did a beg for gift sub? It's not showing up in my alerts. Aw, thanks so much, Strawberry Pork Cakes. Okay, free form. 73% of you guys want me to do free form, so let's do it. Let's do it. Nutley Zoo. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. That's so nice of you guys. Yes, I'm playing it on Windows 10. It worked perfectly. I didn't have to do anything. But you might have to get a mod if you want to play in windowed mode at a bigger resolution. Because I'm playing it. it. It looks all stretched out to you guys. It looks all stretched out. Um, I'm sorry it looks like that. If it looks really bad, I'll just put it back in screen, uh, full screen mode. But other than that, it just... It just uh, worked. Your subscription didn't come through, but you did subscribe. Well, thank you for the sub in Queen. I, di I didn't see it, but thank you. I see that you are sub next to your name, so thank you so much. I think you have to press something to make it show up on the screen on your end. I'm not sure about that. Thank you so much for the 500 bits, Erica Bolts. Thank you so much. So guys, this game is so cool. You get to choose, they're called maps is what they're called. I, I called them terrains. They're called maps. Aw, thank you so much, Triple Consonant. And thank you so much, Juicy Turlet. Juicy Turlet's at the house. Thank you for the three-month sub. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Does it have cheetahs? I think so, yeah. I have every animal available. We even have dinosaurs, y'all. We could do a dinosaur zoo. Okay? It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, yes, I love Roller Coaster Tycoon, and I will be playing that as well. I will be playing that as well. <laughs> I hope a lot of you guys... See, I also love these old games. I love the old Roller Coaster Tycoon. I love the old Sims. I love the old Zoo Tycoon. These are the kind of games that I enjoy playing most. I try the newer ones, but they're never as good to me. I don't know if that makes me an old lady. I don't care. Because I only know what I get enjoyment from. And I don't like the newer games, usually. Uh, very rarely will they do it better than the classics, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Sims 2 Pink Soup. <laughs> Erica Balt, thank you. Thank you for gifting three subs, Artemis the Falcon, to Otterbot2204, Pluto Cakes, and Sabrina W. Thank you, Artemis the Falcon. 
Um, oh, I love my new setup here. Okay. I'm sorry if I missed somebody who who uh, begged for gifts up. Tell me again. Okay, so you get to choose your map and you can choose like your climate. So you can choose, you want alpine, benthic, boreal forest, coastal desert, grassland. I like doing grassland, but you can also choose like the size. So this is the alpine medium, alpine large, alpine mountain, alpine small. Like there's so many choices. My favorite one though, I either like to do city zoo or where are you? Where are you? I know you're in here. You know the one I'm going for. Where? No, I must have missed it. Hold on. It's the one that's like all of the, all of them together. Uh... Biome squares. Biome squares. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, biome squares. So this is like a mixed biome. So we can have a zoo that has all different kinds of animals in it because animals can only live in certain climates. We have unlimited cash, y'all. So here we go. Let's get started. <laughs> um, okay, so here we are. I'm not going to be able to play in this tiny little square. I'm really not. I got to get used to the, uh, how do I move? I don't know how to go. I don't know how to move up. Uh. Uh, okay. I've got to put it back in, in full screen, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, shoot. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> How do I do it? Um, game options. Damn it. Yeah, let's see if I can do it with the, uh, oh yeah, it's the, yep, it's the keyboard. It's the keyboard. So biome squares, you can see why it's called biome squares. Um, because there's biome squares. <laughs> This is like a grass, or this is like a grassland, I think. Boreal. Uh, we got a desert over here. I really need this in full screen, though. I cannot play in this tiny window. This is savanna. Um, I know, I'm a, I know, I'm a clicker. I don't like using the keyboard. I like to click. I think I might have to go back out to the main menu. Hold on. <laughs> Let's save it so we don't have to go through all that again. Uh, Biome Square Zoo. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. That's the name of the zoo. Oh, no, wait. Go back. What the heck is that? Downloads? What? Oh, okay. Never no, no, I don't want to restart. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's what I get for just clicking on stuff. Okay, now we need to watch the intro, though. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Can you guys see it? Yay! I really love the intro to this game. It's awesome. Thank you so much for the four month the tier two sub, Maisie Laura. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna have to fix the resolution on this before we play this again. <laughs> Yay! I love the, I love this intro. Man, that music takes me back, y'all. Look at the look at the tigers, lions, tigers, and bears, polar bears. Oh, you know what? I think we're gonna do a chat. I think I am gonna do a challenge, but I'm gonna do like the freeform challenge. Cause I think there's a way to, I don't like having all the animals available to me right away. Let me just see what chat, let me just look at this real quick. 
You can choose how much money you start with. Like, we can crank it up. We can crank it way up. <laughs> Let's start with the hundred thousand. Um, but let's do challenge challenge mode. Oh, yes, yes, we want to do challenge mode. This is not the same as other games, y'all. I'm just, it's coming back to me. It's coming back to me. Where's biome squares? I, I'm going back to 50,000. <laughs> I'm going back to, oh, no, not 5,000, damn it. 50. I just remembered how to play this game. I'm sorry. Um, like I said, I have not played this in years. I think the last time I played it was 2019, actually. But let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. It's not like a scenario. That's not what challenge mode is. It's like, it's going to give us challenges that we have to complete and then we get money for them. Um, it's awesome. Welcome to challenge mode. When you successfully complete a challenge, you earn cash or other rewards. However, if you fail a challenge, there may be negative consequences for your zoo, such as money penalties or decline in guest attendance. All challenges are optional, so if you're not interested, you can decline it. Um, and I like this. Wait, here we got our first challenge. The local mayor has issued a challenge to your new zoo. If you can acquire a single African buffalo during the next month, the city will award you a cash grant of $750. I almost said simoleons. If you fail, though, the bad publicity will slightly reduce the number of guests who visit your zoo. We'll take it. We can get an African buffalo. We'll take it. Uh, now, can you... All right. We got it. I got it. I understand. I understand the mission, sir. Can I move around when, I pa when I'm paused? That's what I need to know. Yes. Thank you so much for the 10 month prime sub floss 679. Oh, and I forgot to make it full screen. Okay, hold up. We're gonna save. Biome squares to do. I'm gonna overwrite the other one. Um, I'm gonna real quick. Luckily, everything loads super fast. We're gonna go to main menu. And yeah, I already saved it, damn it. And I'm, I gotta make this full screen, y'all, because I just can't, uh... I can't play that tiny square. It'll look nicer for you, too. I gotta fix the resolution, though. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is really something. Uh, load saved game. Hopefully next time we play it, it'll look nicer than this, but... I didn't have time to mess around with it. <laughs> now I need to zoom out. Okay, now I can see better. Um, so the first thing we need to do is look at the animals available. Do we have an African buffalo? And can we pause while we're doing this? Yes. Um, do we have an African buffalo? We got a bongo. We've got a moose. Uh, a velociraptor. Okay, we're not going to put dinosaurs in this zoo. Beluga. A peafowl. I always start out with peafowl, usually. American bison. Dodo. Uh-oh, that's it. That's all we have. We gotta get an African buffalo in here. Uh, let's, let's see if we have any males. Sometimes you'll, you might just have, like, one male of something. Uh, no. We don't have any. Okay, well. Well. Can I not have edge scrolling on this? Oh, yeah, I do have it. Thank you so much for, there it is in Queen. Thank you so much for the two month sub. Thank you so much. Oh, I just clicked out, damn it. That's gonna get annoying. <laughs> we can have a mystic moose, yes. Uh, okay, yeah, we gotta make those babies. We gotta make those babies. Yeah, you get, they lay eggs and everything. So we're gonna start out um, in the savanna. So what we want to do is when we go to the animals, we want to... No, not decline all! We want to look at which animals can live in the savanna. So this one... Okay, I'm in the way. Hold on. I'm in the way. You guys can't see their little... I'm just going to float up here for a second. I'm just going to float up here. <laughs> this doesn't look weird or anything. This doesn't look crazy. I might have to uh, move my scenes around and stuff for this game. Um, so this one, the biome of this one is tropical rainforest. 
to, and they live in Central Africa, but we're obviously not doing a tropical rainforest. I want to see if we have anything, uh, grasslands, anything. We have nothing for the savanna. Are you kidding me? Um, okay. Well, what all do we have? Tropical rainforest, boreal forest. I know you guys can't see that. Desert. That's water. Temperate forest. Oh, what is this? Is this grassland? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know what this is, but we can change it. <laughs> I'm going to put something down here. I'm learning. I'm re I have to relearn this game. Uh, whatever this is over here. That's rainforest? Oh, okay. Then we had something for rainforest. What was it? Dodo? Dodo! We'll start with a dodo bird. So dodos are technically extinct, but you know what? I like to put them in my I like to put them down. Wait, did I put that down? I hope I didn't just place that down somewhere. Um, well, let's build his enclosure. All right, that's how we're going to start. We're going to start by building an enclosure. And I want to do it over here by the path because this is the path where the visitors are going to walk down. Um, what I like to do in this zoo is I like to make this area right here kind of like I like to put some tables and stuff for them there. Um, like maybe a bathroom or something. We'll make like a little entry area. But right here we could maybe put our dodos. So let's see what does the dodos need. Uh, we have one female. And we're going to put her down right here. 3,000. And then we have one male. We only have one male and one female. Okay, we're going to put them both down. 3,000. They're so cute. They're so cute, little dodos. Kind of. Dodo one is not contained. Guests will not view animals that are not. I know we're trying to. I'm trying to do it. So if you click on the animal, damn it, I gotta move myself out of the way. I'm gonna have to redo my scene so because this corner, a lot of stuff pops up in this corner. Um. So if you click on the animal, it tells you everything that the animal needs. <laughs> yes, we're gonna have babbies. We're gonna have mini babbies. Why can't I get back to the game? Uh, thank you so much for the two month prime sub simmer, Mike. Thank you very much. You know, this resolution is getting really annoying to me. I'm gonna have to fix this. Um, so we can look and see what the, what they need and how they're doing. So they're, tr they're biomes, tropical rainforest, status extinct. And where does it tell us what they want? Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Release animal into wild, put animal up for adoption. No. Crate animal, pick up animal. I swear there's somewhere you can like click on them and it tells you, oh. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It tells you like all the history of the animals. It's really neat. This is like an educational game, y'all. Educational. <laughs> the obscure dodo became better known to many pe became better known to many people after its appearance in Lewis Carroll's fanciful Alice Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in 1865. That's cool, but I need to know like what kind of fence I can put up. <laughs> Let's go over here and find out. Um, uh, I got, no, no, that's not, I need to know what the dodo want, needs. Okay, I'm, I'm missing something here, y'all. I'm missing something. Oh, I gotta click on the zookeeper. I gotta click on the zookeeper. Okay. Um, so now it tells you, these are the kinds of fences you can use for the dodo. If you use it, other kinds of fences, they can get out. And then they can cause problems in your zoo. So you got to use these kind. I think I'm going to use the chain link fence uh, right now. I think that's what I'll do. I don't think I have to uh, 
link. I don't have to think I have to link in that area. Oh my God. I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to kind of like clo enclose them here. I hope that's a big enough. And we're going to make it bigger. We're going to make it bigger. Okay, that's good. Will that enclose them properly? I, I hope so. No, it says they're not contained still. Um, okay, maybe we'll do like a fence all the way around this. Oh God, no, that looks awful. What have I done? Oh my God, what have I done? This is my practice zoo, y'all, don't judge. <laughs> don't judge. Uh, all right, back to the thing. And see, so you can check, you can also put like water in. Hold on, you can put like a little pool of water in for them. And you can put, oh, that's grassland water. Oops, that's grassland. We want tropical rainforest water. Yeah, there we go. And then we can kind of put like a grass and dirt around. That. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something. And you can also t put trees. If you put trees and plants on and rocks, it will add trees and plants and rocks. Maybe. It's supposed to. It's supposed to, but it's not doing it. Um, okay. So another cool thing, I'm just remembering everything about this, is if you go to the tropical rainforest biome, it will tell you like what trees to put in this area, like what trees are best. Um, I'm gonna put some of these around. And maybe a couple of the, I don't know how many trees a dodo needs. Is there an undo? Yeah. You can only undo up to one thing that you did. That's it. That's it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put just some trees around. And then you can put like some flowers and grass and stuff. Oh no, that's, no. That's not good. We want tropical rainforests. There are no tropical rainforest ones, what? Extinct animals? Okay, I'll take that. Put some plants and some rocks. I think I put the wrong I think I put the wrong trees. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, I was putting the wrong trees. Oops. Those are not rainforest trees. <laughs> Only these are. My bad. My bad. Okay, there's some rainforest trees. <laughs> thank you, Emily Victoria. And thank you so much uh, for the 10 bits, Sammy. Jurassic Park music badly played on kazoo. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for the uh, three months at tier one, Emily. Thank you. Okay. So y'all, I don't know, this is, I'm practicing on this one. You can put a rock, a single rock. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, you can make some pretty cute looking, um, some pretty cute looking stuff. But the thing is, I think I'm going to have to do some, something to the graphics. Like, I think I'm going to have to do some sort of graphics rules or something on this. Like you have to do with Sims 2. It does. It does. You can filter it through the zookeeper. Yeah, you are right. You can do that. You can do it this way too, but you can do it that way too. Uh, let's see. Let's go click on our animal. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, you can click right here. And also, oops, um, it tells you the foods that they like. So we're going to give them some bananas. Now, I like to put the foods up close to the uh, where the guests are going to come by so they can see the animals eating. 
See, those graphics look really bad to me. I don't think it should look that bad. Hmm. I should have given myself more time to screw around with this. Uh, okay, back to our animal. I'll do the best I can in this stream, and I'll, I'll mess around with it after the stream, see if I can get it looking better. Um, let's give them some blueberries. And uh, they don't need, if they have water, like they don't need a water bowl, like if they have a pond. And then you can give them some enrichment activities. Okay, we got to research the Misty Spring immediately. I put that in like all of my <laughs> tropical rainforest stuff. I think we have to hire a research guy though. Oh, you guys can't even see that because I'm blocking it. Yeah. This is... Oh boy, this is a stream. Uh, thank you so much for the seven month resub, Bingle7405. <laughs> Call the blueberries nut. They eat, these, those, these are their blueberry nuts. Um, okay, yeah, I want to put the Misty Spring down, but we can't do that until we research it. And then for their privacy, we're going to put a little shelter over here. So they can go there and they can get privacy from the guests. Um, I think that should be all that they need right now. Now let's see if we can build a path. How the hell do I build a path? Oh, it's right here. Um, we're going to build a path so that our guests can come and see the dodos. And they can come right here. So what I like to do... I'm going to show you. Uh, oh, right. That way. And I like to kind of make these like a different color. So this is the viewing area. Anywhere on the sand is what I'm going to consider the viewing area. No, no, stop it. Okay. And then we need to put, I will put some benches here so people can sit. Come over here. Come over here. Um, I'll put some benches here. Actually, you know what? I should have played some music for this stream because it's kind of quiet. <laughs> There's no safe place for the face cam. I know. I'm going to have to put it. I'm going to have to put myself up in the corner, I think. Um, so I will put a couple of benches. Oh wow, I just realized this is all this is all humpty dumpty down here. Can I smooth that out somehow? I don't know. Yes, yes, I can. Hill, valley, where's a smooth? Smooth terrain. Okay, great. Smooth her out, boys. Smooth her out. Zoo Tycoon 2 has those uh terrain tools. Okay, I think that's smooth. And then we're gonna go back here. We're gonna put a donation box. So you gotta put donation boxes in. And I just want a regular one so that your guests will donate money. We need those donations. That's how we make money in the zoo. Okay, we're gonna put one right here. It's still all funky, isn't it? Hold on. Hold on, we're gonna have to remove the benches. And we're going to have to smooth this out better. Damn it! Delete everything and smooth it! Is it smoothed? I guess that's as smooth as it goes! <laughs> okay, let me put another bench in. I'll put two- nope. Undo. Undo. I'll put two benches right here, and I'll put a donation box right here. Okay, perfect. So now we have a viewing area and we have a donation box. Um, what else can we put? That's good, I think. Okay, for our fence, we have to put a fence in. These are the only fences we have, what? No, not extinct animals. Do Tycoon 2 content? How about all? Can I do all? All, please. Okay, yes. Um, I want a fence. A gate. Not a fence. A gate. How do I get the gate? 
I don't know how to get the gates. Where are th where are they? I know you have to have a gate in here. <laughs> you have a beg for gift sub? Um Oh, what does GV mean? Has begged for gift sub if anybody feels generous in the chat. Thank you. And uh thank you for the four month resub Lana Monster. Thank you so much. Oh, maybe I didn't finish it. Oh, st oh, that's the only gate there is. Okay, okay. All right, that's the only gate there is. I will put the staff gate over to the side. Well, better put it. I don't know where I want to put it. Where's a good place to put? I'll put it right there. So that's so that our zookeeper can get in and out of there. I think that the gate is, I think the thing is done. I don't know. I don't know if this, this is going to keep them enclosed or not. It doesn't look very... <laughs> that doesn't look too good, does it? Um, let's see. <laughs> that doesn't look like it's going to keep them in. Maybe we could... Oh my god, this is awful. This is terrible. <laughs> what have I done? It's terrible. Let's see if it keeps them in. Because it looks really bad when I pull it up there. I don't think that's going to keep them in at all. I really don't. <laughs> I don't! Prediction, will Dodo escape? Here, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Prediction. Will Dodo <laughs> escape? I love that. Will Dodo escape, yes or no? <laughs> there, you have one minute to put in your prediction. I'm gonna go with the fists like this. We're gonna see if they escape or not. Um, oops, I'm not gonna delete my shelter. You can, you know you can name your animals too? You can. Um, I used to try to name them, but then it just gets so crazy that you just can't. Because they start breeding like crazy. Especially the peafowl, man. They breed like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see. You can name them. Dora the Dodo. Wait, is that a male or a female? I don't know. How can I tell? Uh, I think it's a female. Oh, it's a female. I think. I don't know. It's Dora. Dora and Donald's. Dora and Donald the Dodos. Snarry. <laughs> Snarry shit one. Uh, okay, so I'm going to press play. We're going to see what happens. How do I press play? Oh. Hello, Dodos. Hello, please don't escape. Please don't escape from us. Where are you going? Where are you going, Dodos? Okay, we need to hire a uh, zookeeper, like, immediately. Here they come. Here they come. They're gonna eat their banana. Oh, he's gonna eat the bananas. He's gonna eat the bananas. Oh, this one's going to swim in the water. Oh, he's drinking water. And look, you can click on him and it, it usually tells you what they're doing. Somewhere it tells you what they're doing. Oh, going to investigate berries. Go investigate those berry nuts. They're so cute. Um, okay, so we need to, like I said, let's pause for a second. Let's hire a zookeeper because the zookeeper will come in and clean up after the animals, but you can go in and clean up after them too. So sometimes I do that. Where are you, zookeeper? Um, yes, we need you. We need you, zookeeper. And then we can give the zookeeper an assignment. So we are going to assign, this is Keeper Sam. We are going to give Keeper Sam the assignment of the dodo pin. You could just click anywhere in there, and then now he is assigned to this enclosure. So he will take care of the dodos for us. I'm not ready to open it yet. I have to get everything in place first. Um, yes, you can name them. I Wait, hold on. <laughs> I named him Keeper Snarry. 
<laughs> I named him Snorri. Uh, how much do we pay this guy? We pay him 500 a month. That's how I'm going to play now. I'm just going to go like this. <laughs> so, oh, you want me to add the shit one? Keep her snarry shit one. <laughs> That's his name now. That's his name. Okay, or her name. I don't know. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Um, snarry shit one, you take care of the dodos, please. <laughs> Next one should be Bob's and Doug Nut, I agree. Um, so now that we have a, like an animal enclosure for them to look at, we need to put some other facilities for the people because they need like a bathroom and stuff. I hate how this is like this. It's it's not even. You know what I'm saying? It's not even. And I don't like it. If we can make it like this. Oh, God, that's even worse. Jeez, that's even worse. Okay, forget forget that I did that. That's terrible. <laughs> this is this is awful. Oh my god, what if what am I doing? Um that's bad. That's really bad. We might have to mess with the terrain a little bit here. Cause that's flattened terrain. Yeah, that's what we want to do. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can make this even. I like how easy it is to use the terrain tools in this game, though. It's super easy. So we're just going to flatten everything out right here so that we can make an evenly... an evenly shaped entrance somehow. I don't know. It's really bad. Thank you, dear. I just want it to be even! Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask for? Uh, I guess it is. I guess it is. I don't know. It's really dead. Like, there's no way it's going to be even with this thing coming off the side here. We'll just, we'll just have to leave it like that. I don't know. <laughs> you just bought it too? Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad. Uh, yeah, this is a bad... I can do that, maybe? I... I'm trying! Oh my god. What in the hell? <laughs> what in the hell? Oh. Oh, sometime I'm going to get him to come and wave at you guys sometime. Yeah, I totally am. Now I don't even know how it originally was. I don't know what I've done here. Was it like that, kind of? We're just going to leave it like that, okay? I'm going to come down here. <laughs> See, why can't it be like this? This is how it needs to be. It needs to be like that. I don't know why. It is, why Why are you the way you are? Um, this is going to drive me literally insane. I kind of wanted to make like some bathrooms and stuff here. Let's just do it. This is our practice zoo anyway. <laughs> so we've got a small restroom. And I'm going to put that... Um, I'm going to put a small, no, damn it. <laughs> I know what I want to do and I can't do it. Okay. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I don't care. Um, you know what we'll do? We'll just delete this cause it sucks. And then we just have to have these two. All right, I got a plan. I got a plan. Trust me. Trust me. I sort of have a, I kind of have a plan. Um, so we're going to make this like a little rest area kind of place. Silent tutor. <laughs> Who's silent tutor? Thank you so much for the uh, three month reset tier one sub 20 bits. Thank you so much for that. My coffee's here. I gotta put, oh my God, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot as balls. 
Um, all right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make like a little area where people can get food and, and go to the bathroom and stuff. So we have a hot dog stand. Gotta get that park meat. Gotta get that park meat in. <laughs> I'm gonna put that down. We've got a, a soda. Soda and hot dogs, that's what you get at this zoo. Uh, we also have some other stands. We, you definitely need to put an ATM machine in. You gotta put an ATM machine so your people can get cash and they can pay you money. Okay, so we've got an ATM. Um, you know what, let's put a little, let's put a little pretzel cart. You gotta get, get, some, get yourself some pretzels. Get yourself some pretzels and some hot dogs. There's a little man, he works at the pretzel stand. And I like to put a little fence around this. These are all the fences I have. I don't have the cute little grass fence. Now I'm like, damn it, why didn't I do a free form? So you want to put fences around. Okay, I learned this the hard way because your guests are not very smart. And uh, they will go anywhere that is not like fenced off. <laughs> so you want to put fences around. Um, one of your friends hates Janice Joplin, Fleetwood Mac, and Queen. Well, that ain't right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna fence it in. And I'm going to, uh, we're gonna have to put some tables in a bathroom. So, I want to make it as even as possible. Let's see. I want to put the bathroom. I want to put the bathroom over here. And I know that blocks the way down into here, but I'll just make a new way down, down there. We've got the bathroom. We also have to put trash cans. Because these people are pigs, y'all. They're pigs, I tell ya. I'll put trash cans all around, and uh, then we'll put a couple of picnic tables. Where the hell are we gonna put picnic tables? There's no room! I didn't leave any room for picnic tables. Uh, people will get mad if you don't give them tape. I guess I'll make a little area over here, maybe? Eat at the picnic tables. Look at, on the dirt, on the dirt. I hate that. I hate that. No. <laughs> I hate that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some picnic tables here. I'm going to move all of this back. I'm really glad you can move stuff around. And no, that's going to be uneven. I'm going to have to move them two back. We're going to figure this out. I swear it. I'm going to move this two back. Gonna move this out of the way for a second. Oh no, I can't move the bathroom. We'll sell it. 80, I only got 80 for that. And then I'm going to sell these. I feel like I'm just losing money by the minute here. <laughs> I'm just losing so much money. Um, how far back do we need to go? This far back. So that's about how big it needs to be. Let's fill that in with path. We like barely made it to the edge of the cliff, but we can uh, use the terrain tools if we. So this gives us plenty of room to put the little picnic tables in the center. I like that so much better. We put little tables here. Let me get the bathroom back. The bathroom right in the center. And uh, we're doing well. <laughs> No, I did a challenge mode. We don't have unlimited cash anymore. But once we get this uh, initial, um, once we get this initial little area built, then we can open the, the thing and start making money. We're a half a star zoo. We're, we're not even a one star zoo. It's so sad. We'll do a little tables like that. I like that. Three little tables. We've got plenty of stuff for everybody. Let me put a couple of benches, maybe. Maybe a bench on that side. No, I don't like the bench. I don't like the bench. I'll wait, we'll put some more decorative stuff over there. We have to research more stuff. We can even do uh, like a, like a, 
a safari ride through your zoo. You can do like raised platforms. You can do water tanks. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff, guys. You haven't even begun to see everything you can do if you're not familiar with this game. Thank you so much for the three month primary sub, Fabio AGC. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's all right. And uh, one more thing. I like to make these a different color. I like to I like to color coordinate my zoos. So it kind of it kind of separates it from the rest of the the paths to me. Okay, actually. That is too far out. I'm gonna move this to this side. I'm gonna move this. Okay, no. <laughs> no, we're just gonna have two tables, I guess. We'll move this one here. That's it, that's it. That's all we've got right now. It's gonna have to work, it's terrible, y'all. I'm gonna have to do a new zoo. I'm gonna have to do a new zoo entry, <laughs> terrible. Okay, but it's a start. It's a start, all right? <laughs> I need your potions. I need your potions. It's $19.99 for the complete collection on Amazon. There's the link in the chat. Thank you so much, Golden Breath. Okay, guys, we're ready to open, I think. Oh, no, we need one more staff. We've got to have a maintenance worker to clean up the trash and stuff and clean out the bathrooms. So that's gonna be Bobson Dugnut, the maintenance man. I think this is a female. <laughs> this is a female maintenance worker. What should we name her? This is Jin Jin Lons. Jin Jin Lons. Thank you, Jin. Thank you. Frave. Oh, I should have named her Fraven. That'll be the next one. That'll be the next one. We're gonna have plenty of staff. Don't worry. Oh, uh, we also need. What do we need to re do we need somebody to research in this game or does it just research? I don't remember. We got paleontologists, we got trainers, we got dinosaur entertainers, educators. I don't know. I think it just might just research. I don't think you have to have a researcher in this game. Okay, let's press play. And let's open up the zoo. Let's see. Uh it's open. Three guests. We got three guests already. Um, that's it. That's it. Uh, th right now our price is $20 to get in. You have to pay $20 to eat our overpriced junk food and look at dodos. Okay, that's the privilege that you have to, you have to pay for that privilege. I gotta hydrate. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea, Golden Breath. I like that idea. Maybe you guys can name the animals. I like that. We'll have to make, we'll have to do that. Uh, okay, where's our guests at? Come on, guests. Where are you at? Oh, here they come. Uh, Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson right there. I wish I could move this around. He has $575. He has $575 he's going to spend in the zoo. His favorite animal is the hippo, but which we don't have. Um, I like how it tells you what their favorite animal is. And he, he can't wait to see some animals. Look, here they come. Uh, this is a little kid here. Come here. Come here, child. Where are you? Oh, no, it's not. It's a lady. Uh, Esther. This is Esther. Esther can't wait to see some animals. And her, she's got $556. Her favorite is the bongo. The bongo. We don't have a bongo either. Nobody's favorite's the dodo. Nobody's favorite. Um, so far, the dodos have not escaped, y'all. They haven't escaped. It does. It takes them a long time to walk through. And nobody's even gotten down to the dodos yet. Come on, guys. Come on. Look at them go. <laughs> Come on. Hurry up. Get down here. I need your donations. Is anybody eating at the food stands? No. No, I guess they're not hungry yet. Uh, come on down, guys. Come on down, see the dodos. <laughs> you can make it. They're taking a stroll. And we also need to, we also have to keep the park decorated and everything. Let me see. 
Are we researching stuff? We should be researching stuff all the time. I'm gonna research the candy cane cart. Okay, cool. I want to research the Misty Spring, please. Research the Misty Spring! I'm gonna research all this stuff. Why not? Research the ball. Present. Give, give it all. Is this cost? Oh my god, it's costing me money! Holy crap! I didn't realize it was costing me money every time I researched something. I just researched this freaking clamshell. I didn't need to research. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I gotta be more careful, y'all. I gotta be more. I only gotta. I only can research stuff that. Wait, muskox. We got a muskox available. Um, we still don't have an, a, a buffalo though. Where does the muskox live? The muskox lives in the tundra. Clams for science. The research for scratching post is complete. Thank you. We don't even need a scratching post. Do we have anything else that lives in the rainforest? Yes. We have this uh, bongo. Oh, and that was that that guest favorite was the bongo. So we got to build a bongo for her. We got to build a bongo enclosure. We can build it right over here beside this one. And then we have two uh, exhibits. Yes. <laughs> I know, I'm like, research, research, research. So we've got one male bongo and one female bongo. Well, that works to, as a start. Uh, okay, but wait, hey, our guests are down here. Let's check them out first. Oh, we got Misty Spring. We got Misty Spring. Hold on. We got to put the Misty Spring in. Wait, did they like it? If they like it, they'll do like a little yay thing. And now they'll have a little smiley face, and then they'll put money in the donation jar. Yay, they like it! Are they booing? Are they booing? <laughs> um, they're smiling. Okay, let's put the Misty Spring in, because the Dodos like the Misty Spring. And it's really cool looking, too. Well, I don't know if they have room for it in their enclosure. Actually, it was quite large, wasn't it? Oh my god, we don't have room for it. Maybe I'll extend their enclosure out a little bit. Oh wait, I could put it right there. There, we'll put it right there by the water. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, they like it. Look, the dodos like it. They're coming to check it out. Why aren't you guests giving me any donations now? Come on. They're like, we already paid $20 to see dodos. How much more do you want from us? <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Nico. <laughs> I was saying boo earns. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, I'm trying to get a better view over here of our guests. Get put some money. You put some money in there. But don't talk on your phone, lady. That lady's on the phone. Yes, we just got a donation. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now let's start building the bongo thing down here. I'm not going to pause it while I do that. I'm not going to pause it because uh, we'll we'll go ahead and let them keep giving us money while we build the bongo enclosure. So the bongos need... Uh, we can use the same fence. So maybe I'll just put... No, I want them to have to come further out. How, where, how am I going to do this? Maybe I will just make it right across here like this. I think the bongos need a lot more space than the dodos. So we better make their enclosure pretty big. Uh, we can use this natural water here. See if I can do that trick. Okay. We can use this natural water as part of the dodo uh, bongo enclosure. But you don't want to, the thing is, you don't want to make it too big because you want your people to be able to see it. Wow, that's a lot of water there. Hold on. That's a lot of water. Um, okay, I guess there's a lot of water in the rainforest, so that makes sense. But anyway, you don't want to make it too big because you want your people to be able to see them. And if, it, if they're too far from the path, your guests will have a hard time seeing them. So now I'm kind of thinking... 
Might have made it too far. Might have made it out too far. I wonder if that's big enough for bongos. I, I used to have this spreadsheet that somebody had online that had like all, exactly how much space each animal needed. So you could kind of calculate um, how much, how big to make your enclosures. It was really cool. <laughs> now that's a lot of water. The, don't worry, the, the uh, dodos will be breeding soon. They'll be breeding soon. Oh, it's like I kind of want to get this water in here, but... We're gonna get it in here. We're gonna get it in here. Why not? The bongos need some water. This is gonna be the bongo enclosure over here. And can they get out back there? That doesn't look safe. Let's, uh, let's make sure this goes all the way to the back. Yeah. And then let's also make sure that our... See how it puts the tree- oh no, not dirt! Not just dirt! Give us some grass too. See how it puts the trees on itself? It just doesn't do a very good job of that. So I like to go in and put my own trees in. Let's go back to the bongo. Let's get them some food. This is, that is a humongous enclosure, oh my god. I think well, I think I went too far, guys. Because look, <laughs> look at our little people over there and look how big this is. I, they can only see, the guests can only see like so many squares back. Um, I think it's too big. <laughs> I think it's too big. <laughs> let me let me do this one more time. I just really wanted to get the water in there, damn it, but it's not gonna it's not gonna work. I really like how you can drag and delete stuff in this game. And once you get used to the controls, it's not too bad. Now I'm gonna go back and put that fence, but I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay, this is gonna be the bongo enclosure now. We'll put something else over there that needs a lot of water, I guess. I don't like how that's just so boxy. We're gonna do it like that. Yeah, I like that better. Actually. Oh, I wanna- no! No! Okay. I like that better. Okay! <laughs> Now, there's the bongo enclosure. That should be big enough. I'm still worried about the guests not being able to see <clears throat> all the way to the back. But, I don't know. I don't know what to Yeah, crocodiles or something, yeah. Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. Oh my god. Uh, we need lights. Oh jeez, I forgot you had to put lights in. Hold up. We don't have any lights! I know there are lights you can get. Uh, but I guess they're not available to us yet. Let's go ahead and research... Um, like a kangaroo ride for our children to ride on. And then I want- I need to make another path. Need to make another path for our people. And I'm going to make this the viewing area over here. I don't know why. I just want it to be, like, separate. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> that's not going to work. That's stupid. Undo! We'll just have one big-ass viewing area over here. I'm getting used to the game, though. So, like, I might play this on my own and, like, redo some of this stuff and the next time when we play, I'll show you guys what I've done. Research is complete. So, we'll make it- we'll just make it come around like this. And I'll- I will have to move this bench. Sorry, people! Get off my bench! I'll move it over there. <laughs> Sorry! Sorry, guys! And I don't like how that's not rounded, either. 
No, I want it to be round. Round, I said. It will not be round for me. Okay, so let's put some more. Oh, oh! Damn it, we failed. We failed the challenge. I didn't realize it had already been a month. I would have paused. I didn't realize the time go went by so fast, damn it. Okay, well, we failed. We're gonna have less guests. That was not, it said it was easy, but that was not easy because like we never got the animal. Like we never had the animal show up here. So what are we supposed to do? <laughs> I should have probably built more. But let's put some more benches down. Oh well, we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep doing our best. Put a couple more benches and I'm gonna put another donation box down here. Yes, please donate to our zoo, please. We need your money now, more than ever. More than ever we need your money. And next, I really don't like how that's not rounded. And that is. That's better, I guess. Uh, <laughs> let's put in the bongos. I hope this is going to keep them in. I really do. I hope this is going to keep them in. Let's first of all, let's put a little bit of water in here. For our bongos, they're gonna need- I like to do that instead of the water bowls, just because I feel like it's more natural for them to have like a- Like a pool of water in their enclosure, you know? Uh, thank you so much for the three month prime sub, Jojo155. Thank you so much. Oh, I love this game. I love this game. This is- this is one of my favorite games ever. And this is definitely my favorite Zoo Tycoon. Ever. I love it. Dora's pregnant! Dora's pregnant! Yes! Did she lay an egg? Oh, she, she, it'll tell us when she's laying an egg. We can go watch her lay an egg. We got no, no babies on the way, y'all. So excited, Dora and Donald. She went, she went to take a bath now. <laughs> I want them eggies, mother. I want them eggies. Okay, back to our, we gotta put more animals in. And I'm going to go ahead and put down the bongo. And then we've got also a... Oh my god, you know what I just realized, guys? We could have won that challenge. Because you can decline the animals you don't want. You can decline them and it'll get, give you different ones. I completely forgot. We probably could have got an African buffalo, like, right away. Damn it! ACR was successful. So I'm going to decline the dinosaurs. And look, now we have a Thomason's gazelle. I'm gonna decline the, the beluga. We got a caribou now. See? Damn it! <laughs> I forgot how to play. Okay, we have our bongos, but they need some food. Oh my god, I'm gonna pause. Because we gotta get them some food. Hold up, hold up. We gotta get them some... Uh, they like branches. We'll get them some branches. Uh, they like bananas. We're gonna get them some bananas. And they like bamboo. We'll get them some bamboo too. And they've got what? What is that? Roots? Roots? Okay, have some roots. You can have it all. You can have it all in my zoo. You get everything. Cycad, cycad leaves? You can have some of that too. You get all the goods, all the goods in here. <laughs> and then for enrichment, we're going to give them a misty spring. Um, I'll put it right. I'll put it closer to the front so when they use it, the guests can see them. And in the back, I'm going to give them a little stable for their privacy. And we're going to put that all the way in the back because your animals do need privacy. They get tired of being gawked at by strangers constantly. Um, so you have to give them some privacy. And I'm going to give them a little shelter back here. So they can go rest when they want to. And then also give them one of these shelters back here. Back here. I don't like how I don't have edge scrolling. I have to like hold it down. I don't like that. Um, nope. Nope. <laughs> yes, one, I'm going to give them one of these shelters kind of like up closer. And then we'll give, we'll put a couple more trees around. 
put some of these little trees. Can't put that there. Can't put that. You cannot place the King Sego in water. It's so hard to move around. And every time I move around, I, I have to open this back up. We'll put that there. Put that there. Okay, and then we'll, there's no plants or rocks really that go in here. It's just trees. Biome modification. You can choose a biome type and then use the mouse to paint in plants and trees specific to that biome. Oh yeah, I know. I already did that. Uh, thank you so much for the seven months at Tier 1 Light and Frost. Thank you so much. Bongos. Oh, you want to know more? You want to know about bongos? I'll, I'll tell you all about bongos because we can go to the Zoopedia and we can learn all about the animals. So uh, they are a mammal. They are an even-toed ungulate. And uh, bongos are the largest and most colorful of all African antelope. So they are a type of antelope. Um, the bongo's main predator is the leopard. And when bongos run through the forest, they hold their antlers against the back of their necks so they don't get caught in the vegetation. They do this so often that many bongos have bald patches where they've rubbed off their fur. Huh. That is very interesting. Yes, the bongo is a chestnut colored antelope that lives in the forests of Central and Western Africa. Thank you so much for the seven month prime sub, Belladova. Um, like some other varieties of antelope, they develop distinctive white vertical stripes down their shoulders like dripped pastry icing. Both males and females have spiraling horns. Bongos live on a diet of roots, sweet potato, branch tips, and shoots. Sometimes they even eat dirt or, or burned wood to get salt or other minerals. Their tongue can wrap around the food, making it easier for them to feed from plants that are high off the ground, kind of like a giraffe. Bongos are the only forest antelope to form herds. They are private, shy animals that run in, that run if they are the least bit frightened. Because they take refuge in the forest, habitat destruction is one of the main threats to the species. Uh, they are currently low risk conservation status, although this game is quite old, so that may have changed. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? So let's have, let's look at them in the game. Uh, where are you? Where are you, my bongo friends? I don't want to buy another one of you. Uh, here they are. Come here, little bongo boy. What are you? Oh, get up. Get over here. Get up. I want to look at you. I want to look at your stripes, bongo. I want to look at your stripes. I saw one of these at the zoo when we went to the zoo on my birthday, and I knew what it was from Zoo Tycoon. I was like, that's a bongo. I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Does uh, Planet Zoo have a Zoopedia too? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're really neat little animals. Let's watch him. I don't know what he's doing. He's messing around in the in the ground. Oh, and also, I'm gonna buy another one of these. Oh, he's hungry. He's hungry. Or did he eat that? Did he eat from that? And this is the. Uh, this is the female. You can tell they're female. Let me let me uh, move out of the way. Dang it! <laughs> I can't. I can't. Hold on. Let me move myself. Uh, the next time we play this game, I'm gonna move my little camera out out of the way because I didn't realize everything was gonna be down here in this corner. But you can see right here um, that if they're if you click on this, it'll say pregnant, yes or no. Hold on. Oh, we're going to have them. See, it says pregnant, no. So that's how we know it's a female. And then if we click on the male, obviously they don't have that. That's how you can tell. Oh, let's name them, guys. Let's name them. What are we going to name them? What are we going to name our female? Betty Bongo? A Betty Bongo? <laughs> Betty. Betty Bongo and... Buford... Buford Bongo. <laughs> Betty and Buford. Oh, thank you so much for gift gifting 10 subs. Thank you so much, Fatal Queen, for gifting 10 subs to, uh, let's see. Mimi Missouri, J Chin X, Florida, Rose, It Is I Egg, Jade Lynn Marie, uh, Trunk Set, Simstifer, Sig Sigda, and Queen Kira. Thank you so much, Fatal Queen. I really appreciate that. <laughs> uh oh, we got a challenge. 
The National Zoo Association is running a contest among all member zoos and will award all participants $5,000. They've requested two pictures of rare zoo events. Okay, this challenge is buggy as hell and it doesn't always work, but we're going to try it. We got to get two pictures of rare zoo events. Specifically, they're looking for a photo of any animal baby with its mother, okay? And any animal making use of an enrichment object. That shouldn't be too hard. We're going to have a baby soon. We're going to accept. We're going to accept that. Um, I don't know how long we have on this one. I don't know if this one's unlimited or not. Uh, but we're going to try to do that. So let me get, we got to assign a zookeeper over here and I'm going to show you guys something else. Oh, Dora just gave birth. What? What? Hold on. Hold on. No, I don't want the balloon bouquet. Where's Dora? Where's <laughs> You can sell those balloon bouquets it gives you. Dora! I want to see the egg. Oh my god. I want to see the egg. Where did she lay the egg? Is this Dora? Okay, where's the egg? Y'all help. Oh, there it is! Two eggs! Two eggs! Dodo three and Dodo four! Oh, I gotta move, I gotta move myself back down. Hold on. We got two baby, two babies! Okay, y'all. So, I'm gonna, next time I play this, I'm gonna have a thing set up where you guys can name the babbies. So, be thinking about your, what you want to name these babbies. Uh, it looks like white poo. They're eggs! They're eggs! I'm just kidding. I don't say eggs like that. I don't say eggs. <laughs> dodo, dodo, doo doo, dodo. Nobody's esca escaped yet either. Nobody's escaped. I'm so excited. That really makes the guests happy. The guests happy when they see like the babies and stuff. They love it. Uh, okay. Anyway, oh, back to what I was doing. We have to get a fence on this bad boy. I'm gonna put it over here on the side. And then we have our zookeeper. Where's our zookeeper? We're going to give our zookeeper both of these pins. And then if he gets too busy, we'll, we'll hire another one. Where are you, zookeeper? Where are you? Does anybody see him? He's not doing his job, I tell you that. I'm, like, really not used to moving around in this game. It's very difficult. New, uh, ooh, new, ooh, we got a one star. We got a, we're, we're a one star zoo now. So now we have new objects and that means new animals available too. But I got to find the stinking zookeeper. I don't know where he is. Where are you? Let me look on the path. Maybe he's up here using the bathroom or something. I don't see him. Why is the maintenance man just wandering around in the wilderness out here? <laughs> look at you. What are you doing? What are you doing, Jin Jin Launch? You're just walking in circles out here. <laughs> I know I'm happy there's more than one Babby in this game. Although it does get a little bit crazy, y'all. Oh, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Ktizzle85. Thank you. I still don't know what happened to our, our... He's probably, like, way out in the middle of the fields. No, we lost our star! Damn it! I'm blaming it all on the zookeeper. It's your fault, Snarry Shit One. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, hold on. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Snarry. Snarry, there you are. Uh, we're going to give him another assignment. Or her, or him, or whoever it is. No, not the. I don't want the tree. Uh, we're going to give them another assignment of the bongo pins, or the bongo enclosure. And then, oh, then we're going to go into Safari View. Or no, no, no. Zoo Guest Mode. Zoo Guest Mode. Check it out. Oh, no. Be oh, what? What's wrong with these guys? You can walk through your zoo. How awesome is that? I don't know what why these guys are mad. And why is Buford thirsty? Buford. They're mad because Buford's mad. Hold on. We got to take care of Buford. We got to take care of this. If he's thirsty, you know what? We're gonna, we're just going to give him... Uh, we're going to put a water bowl up here because I guess he's too far from the water or something. 
Isn't there a water trough or something somewhere? I guess not. Uh, Buford, if you're so thirsty, I'll put some water up here by the bananas. Okay? Look at the zookeeper sweeping up poop, too. <laughs> okay, hold on. I was in guest mode. No, what? No, don't be mad, guys. I gave him some water. Don't be mad. Look, they're... Okay, he's drinking. Like, chill out. Give me money. Give me money, guess. I need money for my zoo. Betty, no! Why are you... Are they... Why are they not drinking out of the pool? Maybe they can't drink out of the pool. Um, I got a beg for gift sub from T. Jean B. If anybody feels generous in the chat. Oh, it gets unlocked. The water trough gets unlocked. I'm gonna replenish that water. So you can go in and you can care for your animals. And I'm going to show you. This is really fun. Oops. No, no. Let me out. Let me out of here. You got to go in. You can go in through the gate. And you can go in here. You can walk around. You can take care. Hello. Hello. I will groom you. I will groom you, buddy. Look at the bongo. I love this game so much. It's so fun. Hello, Betty. How you doing, Betty? Hello, Zuki. Hello, Snarry Shit One. And you can go around, you can replenish the food if it needs it. You can groom the animals. You can clean up their poopies. You can clean up their dungalodes. <laughs> you can walk around. I don't know why they're not drinking out of their water back here. That's really weird. Um, I don't know. Maybe only certain animals can. Let's go check out the dodo eggs in guest mode real quick. I don't know how to get out of here. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out of here. Thank you. Okay, you guys happy now? See, they they also get that little thing, that little smiley face with the uh, graduation cap when they're being educated. They're like, oh, this is an educational exhibit. I like that. Thank you, Bucky Blockhead. <laughs> I'm gonna name you. They're all blocky. Look at them. <laughs> Look at that guy. Wait, what just happened? Dodo has hatched! Ah! Dodo has hatched! Where are you? Where are you? Oh my god, look! It's baby Dodo! It's baby Dodo. Come here. Come here. I can't see you. Oh! Oh, we need to take a picture. Hold on. Hold on. We gotta take a picture of this, y'all. Because he's with his mother. Okay, we gotta take a picture of this. Um, how do I do it? I forgot. I gotta go to camera... No, come back. Don't leave. Overhead view. Overview map. Zoo guest mode. Take picture. Okay, where you can take photographs. All right, that's what we have to do. Did I get it? Did I get a picture of him with his mother? Does that count? I don't know. This might, it might not count because this thing is no, this Particular challenge is known to be buggy. Let me go check on our challenges. Uh, where? How the hell do you check on your challenges? I don't remember. Holy moly! Look how much we made off of donation box two. Twenty four hundred. Uh, I don't know where our challenges are. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the dodo is a boy. It's a boy. What are we going to name him? What do you guys want to name him? Oops, why did I just... Oh, you can see my plant. Don't look at my plant. <laughs> what? I don't know what I just did there. Uh, what do you guys want to name him? Duty? Don! Yes, we're naming him Don. Don the Dodo. His name is Don. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're naming him Don. And, oh, you're cleaning up some poopy? And so, we st we're still waiting on Dodo 3. This was the second, second one hatched. 
Oh, so cute. I don't know if we, I don't really don't know how to check my challenges. And we just lost a half a star again. We keep going back and forth between half a star and one star. Um, anyway, let's go back to guest mode because I wanted to, I wanted to go in here. Oh, oh no, I put myself back in the bongo cage. Hello, bongos. You can see them mating too sometimes. You, if you, if you're there, you will see them mating. Uh, somebody asked me the flag icon. Okay, hold on. I'll ah, Dodo 3! We missed it! We missed it! There we go! Oh, Dodo 3! Dodo 3, come here! It's so funny because if you leave them the default names, uh, especially the peafowl seem to, like, breed really quickly. It'll be like, peafowl 14 is giving birth! Peafowl 37 is giving birth! Um, we got two boys. We got two boys, y'all. We're gonna need another female. We're really gonna need another female here, and we I don't see any- we don't have any available right now. Uh, we do have another bongo, though. I think I'm gonna buy another bongo. Another female bongo for the bongo enclosure. There you go. What's her name? What are we going to name her? I need a B name. Give me a B name. I need... Brittany? Brittany? Oh, Brandy! Brandy! Yes, Brandy! Brandy Bongo. <laughs> Brandy Bongo. Big Booby Judy. <laughs> Big Booby Judy. Big Booby Judy. Uh, okay, yeah, we're naming her Brandy. Brandy. We're gonna name all of our animals after Sims. <laughs> after Sims and Japanese baseball names. Okay, so we need to start thinking about our next uh, enclosure. It looks like our guests are very happy. They're quite happy. Uh, oh, the flag. Oh, thank you, whoever told me that. Thank you so much for these six months at tier one, any one, five, six. Thank you so much. Um, it doesn't look like we did it. I don't know. We have to wait. Let's wait till we see an animal using an enrichment object, which we now have more enrichment objects. Let's get some of those. Oh, look, we did unlock more, more stuff. We unlocked more stuff. I definitely need to get the binocular stand. We need to get the binocular stand. Ooh, it's a little pricey, but you can put that here and then your guests can see further into the uh, enclosures. So they'll be happier. I also like to get the viewing canopy. But we'll wait on that. Um, here we have... Ooh, look, we unlocked a bunch more food stands and stuff. Two. We got a bunch of other stuff. But I'm going to focus right now on getting us some more animals in here. Because I think that's going to help us more. Uh, okay. So, and these these have not bred yet. Fortunately. That some animals breed faster than others, you'll find. Uh, okay, so what's next? Is there anything that is tropical rainforest? That's what we need to see. So we got a moose. Moose's boreal forest. Uh, we got... I tried taking that picture, but I don't know if it counted. And that... The research for binocular stand is complete. Okay, cool. Thomason's gazelle. No, no. That's grassland, I think. No. So I guess we can start, like, denying these. Like, we don't need you, moose. Oh, we got another dodo coming up. We have another dodo coming up. I should have waited till we were one star and done this. Um, I want to keep the gazelle once we get over to the savannah area. I want the gazelle. The caribou is a tundra. We're not doing tundra right now, so I'm going to decline that. A moose again? Okay. I guess it's not going to do us any good until we get another, until we get up to one star. Um, Peafowl, we don't need you, Peafowl. Get out of here. A blue buck. I think blue buck is grassland. The elephants are pregnant for a long time. That could have been the father, do Dodo. That could have been. I want to see what the blue buck. Blue buck is also grassland. I thought so. Uh, we do have two grassland animals. Maybe we could start working on a grassland. I'm going to get rid of the muskox because he's tundra too. And we got the stupid beluga. 
Okay, I think that's all we're going to get. Maybe we should start uh, working on another biome. Since we're not going to get any more rainforest. Oh, look! I guess the uh, zookeeper put down some more water back here. Thank you, zookeeper. That was very helpful. I didn't know they would do that. Totally did, though. Yeah, let's go see if we can see the mother with the baby. Oh, look! Is this the mother? No, that's the father. Okay, this is the mother. Oh, we can get it. We can get it. Hold on. No, wrong, wrong one. Wrong one. Does that count? I don't know if that counted. <laughs> I don't know. Is she sleeping? Resting under the shade structure. You prefer the one way Zoo Tycoon 1 looks? I never played Zoo Tycoon 1. I only played this one. So this one is the one I, that I love. <laughs> well, I'll, maybe I'll try to get Zoo Tycoon 1 and we could try it. But I think that I personally, I, I've seen it and I think this one looks better. <laughs> oh, to be a dodo resting under a shade structure. I know it. Uh, let's see. I don't think, I don't think this is working. I think this is bugged out, but we'll keep trying. And anyway, oh, what I was going to do is give them some more enrichment activities. Why is the gate open? Zookeeper, close that gate. Buford's going to get out. No, Buford, no. <laughs> uh, okay, let's give them some enrichment. Animal enrichment. Uh, what will they play with? Actually, let me choose the bongo and see what if there's any other. Oh, salt lick. Okay, let's get them a salt lick. We gotta research that. It's gonna cost six hundred dollars. But then we can give them a salt lick, and we can definitely get a picture of that. And then we also had the binocular stand. Where are you? Where's the binocular stand? There it is. So I'm going to put one of those binocular stands over here somewhere so that they can see far back into the enclosure. I think I'll put it right here. Yeah. I'll put it right there. I don't think that will get in the way of the path. I hope not. If it will, I guess I'll have to move it. I love Roller Coaster Tycoon too. <laughs> you're you're too cheap for a six hundred bucks salt lick. <laughs> I'm not. I want that salt lick. We got to give our animals the best here. The research for salt lick is complete. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna put the salt lick. No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to go up here. I'm trying to go up here. Uh, I'm gonna put the salt lick. Our zoo has become more famous. Yes. I'm gonna put the salt lick right here because the uh, guests really like to see the animals use the enrichment stuff. So I'll put it up close to the fence. Come on, somebody use the salt lick. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Get over here. Get over here and use the salt lick. Come on, I know you want to. No, I know you want to. Come on. <laughs> They're just standing there. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Nobody's gonna use the salt lick then. Nobody's gonna... Nobody's gonna do it. <laughs> Just somebody use it. No, I wanted to go... I didn't want to... No, I didn't want to take a photo of that. Oh no, somebody's using the salt lick! Damn it! Oh, see, that counted. That counted. Oh, it worked! Oh, <gasps> It worked! We got $5,000! Your photographs of hard to capture zoo events like a baby animal with its mother and an animal using an enrichment object have earned you a $5,000 grant! We needed that money. Thank you, thank you. Perfect! So now we're up to 30,000 and it's rising. And I think we're ready to build another enclosure. I think we could go. Great, we can't get to the savannah because I did this. I did this. Um. Uh, well, actually, let me see what I want to do here. I have an idea. 
We could move the bathroom over here and then just make a path down, I guess. I don't want to force people to walk through the food court, you know? This is just a bad area. Um, I want to go and we're going to flatten terrain. I'm going to smooth the terrain. We're going to smooth it. So I want to go, maybe I'll go to the side. Maybe I'll bring it around here. Let's see. Let's try it. I mean, this looks pretty... Like, it's gonna be pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> so when your path has the yellow on it, that means the guests can't walk on it. Because it's, like, all funky. But we can fix that pretty easily. The terrain tools are, like, really easy to use in this game. We can do that, and then we can smooth... Smooth it? Yay, and now our guests can walk down there like that. So that's, uh, I mean, it's not great, but <laughs> it works. This is our practice zoo, I told you. Too steep, too bad, climb it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I actually do own Planet Zoo, so maybe after we play this for a while, like a couple days, we'll, we can switch to Planet Zoo and see what the differences are. Um, I pre-ordered Planet Zoo and I played it one time and I didn't like it. Um, I think this game was better, but obviously I didn't give it that much of a chance. I found the building to be very clunky and difficult in Planet Zoo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they need to see my vlog so they can climb up that hill, I know. <gasps> Betty's pregnant, y'all! Betty's pregnant! Oh look, they just got done mating. You see the little hearts above his head? They just got done mating. Yay, Betty! Oh, we got a new challenge. The Magazine Zoo Fan Quarterly is preparing an article about successful zoo tours called Hit the Road for a future issue. If you can raise $1,000 in do donations from a Jeep vehicle tour. No, we cannot do that right now. We don't have the money for a Jeep vehicle tour. No, we're gonna, difficulty hard. No, deny. We don't want that one yet. We're not ready for that one yet. They need to give us another easy one. Uh, okay, so anyway, back to... <laughs> back to our savanna over here. We're going to start with a savanna... Enclosure. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we can make a nice little... A nice one right here, I think. But let's see what animals we have for the savanna. I know we have the Thompson's Gazelle. Am I, am I back? Sorry, I whenever I moved over, I pull accidentally pulled the cord out of my mic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, so what I was saying is we're gonna have we're gonna do a Thompson's Gazelle. Oh, our zoo has become more. We keep we keep going between half a star and one star. So we're gonna do Thompson's Gazelle, and let's see what kind of fence. So I'm just gonna keep using. I might, let's use a different fence over here. No, this one's cheaper. We're going to keep using chain link. It's cheaper right now. Straw. Straw is back. Straw is back in town. Let me get a drink of water, too. <laughs> oh, you can't hear the game? Well, that's because I had, I probably clicked out. And right now it's muted. Okay, so we need to see. I We should have done a prediction, will any animal escape? That's what we should have done the prediction, but I, we just did dodo. Um, okay, I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I did. They The Thompson's Gazelle really need a big enclosure. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. Uh... 
Let's see if that, let's see if that will do it. I hope they don't escape. I don't think they will. That looks pretty, that looks not too great. <laughs> that looks like they could totally get out of that. Doesn't it? Let's hope they don't. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Let's see. <laughs> I think, I don't know if, I'm scared this is not gonna keep them in, but. Let's look closer. <laughs> it looks, it looks very precarious. But we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. We can only hope. Uh, well, it's mute. It's paused right now. So, oh no, it wasn't paused. I can't hear the game sounds either. What the hell happened? Hold on. Hold on. I thought that I thought it was paused, and that's why. Uh, I know why. It for some reason it reset the game. It reset. Here, let's see if we can hear them now. Damn it. This this audio is driving me insane. Give me one sec. Yep. It re it set everything to the wrong speakers whenever it came unplugged. Okay, that should do it. I can't hear it either. That's weird. Okay, let me let me check something else. It reset again. I didn't even do anything. Why would why are you doing this to me, audio? You're sabotaging me. There it is. It's back. Oh God. <laughs> this is not on my side to say. Okay, I thought it was paused when you guys were saying that. I was like, no, it's fine. <laughs> Okay, back to our uh, exhibit here. Let's go into our biome. We're going to choose uh, Savannah. And I'm going to turn all this stuff on. We're going to put some flora, some flora around. And I'm going to kind of like repaint this. Yeah. And then I'll put some more flora in there. I'm also going to put a little water for them. I wonder if I made the water too deep in the moose. Hey, it's Mickey Mouse. I made Mickey Mouse. <laughs> maybe I made the water too deep for the bongos. You know, maybe I did. And they can't go in the deep. That could be it. Let's try. Oh no, that's Savannah water. No, I undo, undo. Tropical rainforest. And that's the dodos anyway. Jeez, what am I doing? I made it deep water. Yes, I think that's why they could- Yes, look, he went right in it now. He went right in it. You gotta have shallow water so- Because they can't swim. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright, figured it out. Now let's go back over here. And... Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I've got the water. And I want to put trees and stuff. Well, let's just select the animal because that's easier. Okay, food. So, I'm going... You know what? We need to make our viewing area so I know where to put the food. So I think I'll do the viewing area. No! Oh my god, what was that? No. No. I'll do the viewing area over here. Or maybe I'll do one here. I'll do a couple of them. I'll do a couple of them because this is a big enclosure. We can do one right here. And this will be easier for the people to go to. We'll just start with this one. Uh, this will be a lot easier. They won't have to walk all the way over here, you know, because they're very slow. <laughs> they're very slow. Okay. So we'll start here. And I will put the food... Uh, they eat hay. Oh. 
Yeah, we had a hundred guests. We got a ribbon uh, for having a hundred guests in our zoo. Awesome. So I'll put some hay up here. I'll put a couple things of hay. And that's real. I'm also going to put a water dish just in case. Just in case they need it. I'll put like three things of hay around. So they can eat right here in front of the visitors. And then we'll put enrichment activities. A tar pit. No, we're not going to put a tar pit. We'll put... Oh! Game challenge. All right. Um, the Alfred Windsor School of Photography would like you to provide them with a photo to use as a sample. Great. Another photo. Uh, during the wildlife photography segment of their curriculum. They, ne they need only one photograph, but to make it more interesting for the students, they would like it to be a snapshot that contains at least two animals. In return for this photograph, they will present you with the Alfred Windsor Photography Award of Merit that you can display as an example of your efforts to help the community. You will also receive a $2,000 licensing fee. Just to take a photo of two animals? Yes, we're doing that one. That's easy. We go do that right now. But let's finish building this enclosure first. Uh, so I'm gonna put the salt lick like right there. I'll put I'll put like two salt licks. I'll put one over here too. There you go. There's some salt licks for you. And uh, then they need a shelter. So we have this little shelter where I'm gonna put this. Uh, where can we put it? I'm just gonna kind of put it over here in the corner. So they can go in and shelter. Now I'm going to research this large wooden shelter. It costs $400 to research, but it comes in really handy when you have a lot of animals. And then I'm going to put some more of these trees around. Put one right there. Let me zoom out so I can see a little bit. That's probably good for the trees. And then for plants... There's already quite a few of these around. Put a couple more. And then we'll put some, a couple more rocks. Why not? Have, have some rocks. Uh, and I guess we're good for this enclosure. So we just need to put a gate on it. So our zookeeper can get in. And it might be time to hire another zookeeper. I really don't like to give my zookeepers more than two assignments. Because I feel like that can get a little crazy for them. Um, so I'm going to put the gate right here and let's hire a new zookeeper so what do, oh this is gonna be bobs and dugnut oh no this one's a female we're gonna name her fraven pooth we're gonna name her fraven pooth okay let me select her keeper fraven pooth oops fraven pooth <laughs> yes accepted Oh, and then we actually have to buy... Oh, and we have to give her a, a an assignment. This is her assignment. And then let's buy the actual animals. So we're going to buy one Thompson's Gazelle. I'm going to buy one... I'm only going to buy one male and one female right now. And hopefully we'll get another female uh, soon. But let's go in and have a look at them. Hello! Oh, they're so cute! I will groom you. I will groom you, little one. Oh, we also have to name them. Oh my god. <laughs> my truck. Fergit Hope. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're gonna name them. Um, this is gonna be... What's the name that starts with T? Give me a T name. Turlet. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to name it. Oh, they're, they're gazelles. Well, they're Thompson gazelles. Should we, do, should we go with T or G? Should we go with T or G? Big T. <laughs> this is the female one. Ted. Ted Balloon. Tina. <laughs> it must be Tina. Tina the Thompson's gazelle. And then you, my, you, my good friend, are Ted. Ted Balloon. <laughs> Ted Balloon and Tina. Ted Balloon and Tina are our Thompson's gazelles. Wait, TNAF? I named her TNAF? <laughs> TNAF! <laughs> Why did I name her TNAF? No, Tina. Tina, I say. 
Not TNAF. <laughs> okay, so they're good to go now. Um, oh, we need to put some stuff over here for our guests, though. We need to put a couple of benches. Um, I'll put some benches right here. Okay, and then let's put a donation box down here at the end. And let's also put some binoculars down here in case they can't see. Keep it TNF. You want me to keep it TNF? All right, TNF. T oh, now I named her Teen Dad. <laughs> I named her Teen Dad. <laughs> I don't know what's funnier, Tina for Teen Dad. <laughs> Tina, you fat lard. <laughs> Teenif. Teenif. There, Teenif. That's her final name. Ted Balloon is not contained. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! What's happening? Hold on! Hold on! Oh no! Pause. Ted Balloon, where are you? Oh, <gasps> Ted! <laughs> He's loose! He's loose on the loose! <laughs> we had an escape, but we only voted on the dodos. Dang it! Okay, Ted, come on, get back in, buddy. Yeah, I knew this wasn't going to keep them out. Okay, we got to fix that fence, y'all. <laughs> I'll just go back behind it like this. I'll just go back back here like like so. Um, oh my god, it's so expensive. Is that going to be good? I don't even know if that's going to be good enough. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, Ted Balloon. <laughs> Ted Balloon cannot be contained. I gotta, I'm gonna have to delete this tree because it's in the way. Um, but now what kind of sucks about this is I feel like the people are gonna walk up here on this path to look at the animals and that's gonna be annoying. Uh, we'll just do that. Oh my god, Ted Balloon. <laughs> that looks pretty stupid, but hey, at least they're contained. I don't like to have this. No, that's fine. That's actually fine. It's fine. It's fine, I say. <laughs> Bye, Hendrick. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for uh, moderating. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much, uh, for the 10-month Prime sub, I suspect, Nargles9. Thank you so much. And, oh, it's 4 o'clock. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do there. Let's press play. <laughs> Ted Balloon, are you contained now? And we still haven't had our bongo babies yet, either. I'm gonna keep checking for a female Thomason's Gazelle. Um, because if we could get two males and two females in there, that would be a little bit better. And here, oh, look, our guests are starting to filter down here. Donald is not contained! No, Donald, no! Oh! We got a, do we got a dodo escape, y'all. We got a dodo escape. <laughs> dodo has escaped. Um, okay, I'm not gonna do anything to their fence. But I will give you guys your points. <laughs> Prediction. Dodo escape! Oh my gosh, 73% of you guys said yes. You had no faith in my ability to contain that dodo. <laughs> um, yes. There you go. Dodo on the loose. <laughs> this game is really fun, though, y'all. It's really fun. Uh, I really love this game. I forgot how much fun it was. So, yeah, it's getting dark now. Donald's back in his place. Know your place, Donald. Know your place. And, yeah, Donald is still a baby. He's still a little baby. We got Don. Oh, we never named Dodo 3. We never named Dodo 3, y'all. What are we going to name her? Or him? We got Don, Dora, and Donald. What are we going to name him? Doug? It's a boy. It's a boy. Can't name him Dina. Daniel! Da Don and Daniel! Oh, my God, yes. Yes. 
twin twin boys, Don and Daniel. <laughs> Don and Daniel, I love it. Daniel, yes. <laughs> Don and Daniel. Oh, poor dodos, I know. <laughs> Let's see, how are our guests doing? Let's take a stroll. Oh, we have to take a picture of two- uh, I forgot, we have to take a picture, y'all. To get our $2,000. Look, two animals right here. Oh, I'm not in photo mode. Hold on, hold on, I'm not in photo mode. Come here, cut- no, come here. Let me get both of you. Oh, that's got three animals in it. Yes! Yes! We got $2,000 and the Alfred Windsor Photography Award of Merit. That was pretty easy. I knew that one was... Give, it, give us some more easy ones like that. And let's check on our finances, too. Um, so, are we earning money or not? We got 39 guests in the zoo. We've had 121 guests. Uh... I don't know if we're gaining money or losing money. Wait, no, don't set price to free. Dang, no. Oh, here's how we tell. Okay, we lost money in April. That's this year. But hey, we gained 4,500 in last month. So that's pretty good. Daniel did nothing wrong. It's the Pleasant View Zoo. That's what we're gonna name it. We're gonna name it the Pleasant View Zoo. We're gonna name all of the animals after the Pleasant View Sims. <laughs> We can't escape the Sims on this channel, damn it. Uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub, Luca Nucola. Thank you. I'm good. Can we name it? Hold on. Yes. Pleasant View Zoo. There. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We need a goopy. We need a goopy gazelle. We need a goopy gazelle. Yes, we do. Uh, our next gazelle that's a male, we'll name him Goopy. We still don't have a female gazelle. We do have a one-star zoo now, though. Ooh! Turtle! African spurred tortoise. I got- we gotta wait till it finishes and we can see where he lives. I wanna put a tortoise in. The female dodo population running scared. Oh, we haven't- by the way, we need to put this female dodo in. In the- in- because- well, we'll wait. Should we wait till the boys grow up? Let's wait till the boys grow up. And then we'll put the female dodo in. Oh, there's our Alfred Windsor Photography Award of Merit. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so the tortoise lives in the desert, which we haven't done desert yet. Um, so that's too bad. I'm going to get rid of the blue marlin thing. No, I don't want more sea creatures. I don't want more water animals. We need something else for the savannah. I don't think we have anything right now. Okay, let's get rid of the grassland. Penguin! Penguin! I know we can't put a penguin in. Dustin and Dirk, yes. Dodo Caliente! <laughs> Dodo Caliente, I love it. Uh, Emperor Penguin is in the tundra, so no. Decline. We need to get more stars in the zoo. I don't know how we're gonna get more stars. We gotta put, we gotta build put more animals in, but we don't have more animals that live in the rainforest or in the <laughs> savanna. So I kind of we're kind of screwed. What else we got over here? Uh, we've got like desert. We've got desert back here. I guess we could do the turtle right here. We could do the turtle right here. Why not? It's not that far much further to walk. I guess. Oh yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is that much further to walk. <laughs> it's kind of far. Um, we might have to put in another, uh, like, area. We might have to put in another, like, rest area. <laughs> uh, oh. You were approached by a scientific journal writing an educational article about even-toed ungulates. They want three specific pictures and offered you seven fifty dollars per picture. If you photograph a dromedary camel, a gimsbok, and a Thomas's gazelle, you get $22.50. Like, how long do I have to do this? Because I don't, I'm, I'm going to say no to this one. Because I don't know how long it's going to take us to get those animals. And maybe we can get a better challenge in, in, the, in the meantime. 
Uh, yeah, so we could do a desert turtle exhibit right here, and then maybe we could put, like, uh, a couple little rest area, like, a little rest area right here. <laughs> Sometimes if you're afraid, you ignore exactly the, like, chance cards. <laughs> um, alright, so let's see what the turtle needs. This is a an African spurred tortoise. Oh, I forgot we forgot to do education. Hold on, we're gonna we gotta do we gotta educate ourselves about the gazelles first. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Uh these are Thompson's gazelles. To confuse their enemies and to warn other gazelles, Thompson's gazelles bounce high into the air with their legs stretched down stiffly when alarmed. This behavior is called slot stotting or pronking. Pronking! I love it. Pronking. Uh, unlike deer who shed their antlers, Thompson's gazelles retain their horns, which continue to grow throughout their lifetimes. Uh, the Thompson's gazelle, which is 61 centimeters or 24 inches tall, migrates between the African forests and the steppe. After the rains, it feeds on the fresh green grasses of the Serengeti Plain. Though usually found in herds of 20 or so, the gazelle will mass in the thousands for up to a few days. Its 30 centimeter, 12 inch S-shaped horns offer some protection from predators, but its real defense is to flee. They run. They run is what they do. Your cat pronks. Oh, that's so cute. They're named Thomasons. I think they're named that after like the person who, they're named after a person. I don't know why. I don't know who that person is. I don't know why it doesn't tell us. <laughs> Okay, so now for our tortoise. Where are you, tortoise? African spurred tortoise. He needs... Uh, okay, we're going to use the same fence that we've been using. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of fence this all in down here. I don't think the tortoise needs that much room. But let's go ahead and give him a, a decently sized enclosure. Come over here. No, tree. Why you have to get in my way, tree? Go like this. Oh, it's it's lumpy. It's lumpy over here. Why is it so lumpy? Daniel has grown from young to... Oh, Daniel! Daniel has grown to an adult! Oh! Okay, it's time for us to get him a mate. It's time for us to get him a mate, y'all. Hold on, we're getting this female. What we, oh, we're going to name her Dina. We're going to name her Dina and Daniel and Don. <laughs> Dina and Daniel and Don the Dodos. Okay, this is going to be Dina. Dina. Uh, Dina, welcome. Welcome home, Dina. <laughs> Dina. We do have a snarry shit one. It's a, that's one of the zookeepers. Okay, Dina's here, y'all. She's here. The Dodo pen is getting kind of full. Now, when we start getting a bunch of animals, we can start, like, releasing some into the wild, and that will make our zoo more famous, because we're going to do conservation efforts. All right, back to our desert area. Where's our desert? Back here. Uh, we, that is a huge enclosure. I hope that's not too big. Betty's giving birth! Betty's giving birth! Okay, we're going to watch her give birth. <laughs> this is the real al alternate timeline story. <laughs> we need a Kaylin Dodo. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to watch Betty give birth. Betty Bongo birth. A Betty Bongo. Betty's, na Betty's named after... I don't know who she's named after. Oh, here's a little baby. Oh. Oh, we got a challenge. Okay, um... Thank you for interrupting our birth challenge giver. Zoo Design Inc. is running a trade piece on maximizing guest amenities and is particularly interested in your zoo's offering. They will mention your zoo in their article, Boosting Your Zoo Fame, if you provide them with the pictures of some of your amenities. You will need to photograph the following amenities. Gift cart, kangaroo bouncy ride, small restroom, any food stand. Yeah, we're doing that. That's easy. Okay. Yeah, get, yeah. Back to Bongo. What are we going to name her? Or him? It's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, he's going to nurse. It says he's going to nurse. Are you going to nurse, little baby bongo? Little baby bongo. Bob. Bob. Yes. 
Yes, she's named after Betty Newby. My God, what the hell's wrong with me? She's named after Betty Newby, and her son's name is Bob. That's not weird, right? That's not weird. We'll name, should we name him Bob or Bobby? Bob? Bob Bongo. <laughs> we're we're going to name this one Bob. That's not weird. We should have named her husband Bob. Hold on. Her husband? <laughs> her hus Her bongo husband. Hold on. This is Bobby. This is Bobby. And where's the other bongo? Where's the male? What do we name him? That's Brandy over there. Oh, no, because then Brandy and Bob are going to... Brandy and Bob are... This is getting weird. This is getting weird. <laughs> this is getting real weird. Uh, no, so we're going to rename him. Buford. Buford is Bob. Okay. Dora's pregnant again. And Brandy has not been born yet, y'all. This other female, we're going to rename her to Barb because it's just too weird. This is not Brandy. This is now Barb. Barb Bongo. <laughs> and then when if uh, Bob and Betty have another girl child, we will name her Brandy. My arm's like hanging off the side over here. Hold on. Well, when we started, I didn't know we were going to do that. That that Those ideas came later. Now we're going to have to start all over a new zoo next time. We're going to do a, a real Pleasant View Zoo next time. This was our learning experience. <laughs> okay, back to our enclosure. Also, I'm going to fix the resolution, too. Uh, we got distracted because we had all kinds of stuff happen to our zoo gonna close this this oh it's lumpy that's what I was gonna do I was gonna fix the lumps you gotta fix the lumps uh, we're gonna flatten terrain just like right here there perfect no wait back back yes and now we'll make a little viewing area here which is already sand, but that's a that's a pretty large viewing area. That should be good for everyone to see the tortoises. Okay, <laughs> so much room for the turtle. They're gonna be able to breed a lot. Okay, <laughs> they're gonna breed, and I'll also do a viewing area over here because why not? Why not? Let's do a little viewing area over here. Two viewing areas. And then we can make them, like, light, come around. Yes. Alright, perfect. Um, and then we're going to put in the guest amenities first. So we'll put in some benches. Nope, that's not where I want it. That's not where I want you. Turtles all the way down. <laughs> yes, turtle. it's turtles all the way down. Um. <laughs> oh, I actually get that reference. Mm-hmm. I, I think they live a long time. I think the turtles live a long time, yes. Copy that. And we're going to put two benches there. Let's put some donation boxes because we need those donations. We need those donations. And then we're going to put uh, binoculars too. I like to put binoculars, especially around these large enclosures like this. We have so many tortoises out here. They can just breed and breed and breed and live forever. <laughs> the tortoise tortoises. And then I'm going to go back to the biome and I'm going to choose the desert biome. <laughs> you love the hybrid game. Oh no, what am I doing? I don't want to do that. I don't want water. Although, yeah, I do want water. I just don't want to be surprised by my water. <laughs> There's some water for the turtles. 
Uh, and I want some some of this. Yeah, there we go. And then let's see what the turtles need. They need for food. They need grass. So we'll put some grass here. We'll put some grass over here. Um, they need lettuce. Okay, we'll put a little lettuce over here. Put a little lettuce over there. And I'll put a couple water bowls just to be sure. Just to make sure they have enough water. I'm pretty sure I did put shallow water though. I did. But I don't want my animals getting thirsty. <laughs> you want to live under the palm trees like them. Uh, this year came this game came out in 2004. 2004. Okay. Oh, enrichment items. We can give them an a some apples. Let's give, put some apples around. Let's put a couple carrots. Apples and carrots all around. And, oh, what's this? A heat lamp. Oh, yes. We need to research the heat lamp. Oh, my God. We're running out of money. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to keep going. We're going to get a lot of mo donations off this. We're definitely going to get a lot of donations off this. And finally, uh, shelter. So we're going to put one of these shelters over here. I'll put I'll put another one over here. There. A couple shelters. Shade shelters. And I think we're we're pretty okay with the uh trees. Yeah. And the plants and stuff. Oh, we can put a a big rock. We'll put a big rock. A couple of big rocks around. Yeah. Barb is going to give birth! Barb! Barb, who are you- who is she gonna give birth to? Bertha? <laughs> they were! They were made the same year! It was a great year for game. The early 2000s was the golden age of PC gaming. I'm telling you, it was. The research for heat lamp is- we gotta put a heat lamp over there for the turtles, but I wanna watch Barb give birth first. Bella! Bella! Of course! Of course, Bella! How could we forget? If it's a girl, it might be a boy. It might be a boy. Let's wait and see. Oh, oh, here we go! It's a boy! All we're having is boys! Okay, who? what's another B name from Pleasant View? Any ancestors or anything for the males? We should have named Barb Bella. We should have named Barb Bella. Barb's getting renamed. I'm not very good at this. Barb is Bella. Now, what's the baby boy's name? Bo! Bo! Of course! Of course, little Bo! <laughs> we're not going to be able to be true to the family trees here, y'all. So, we're just using the names. Bella gave birth to Bo. And these balloon, We can sell these balloon bouquets. And we get 250 each for them. Like, there's no other purpose for those. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? I don't like this zoo! He said, I don't like this zoo! Well, get out! <laughs> Look at the parking lot out there. Yeah, it's like a baby shower for the animals, yeah. Um, okay, we were doing our turtle. We were doing our turtle. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. We were doing our turtle enclosure. Ban him. He prefers his. Oh my god, we got to do a strange town zoo. Oh my god, I'm I'm rethinking this whole thing now. I'm rethinking this whole thing. So next time, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make two. I'm gonna make smaller zoo. A smaller zoo. We're gonna make a Pleasant View zoo. We're gonna make a strange town zoo. We're gonna make a strange town desert zoo. We're gonna make a Pleasant View like a grassland zoo. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Dora laid eggs too. Oh my god, Dora. Because we didn't get it right this time. I told you this was our practice one. Uh, okay, where, where are those eggs? Oh, there they are. Look, eggies. She laid one egg. I just see one egg here. Uh, that's okay. One egg is good. One egg is good. Hello. Hello, Dora and Dina. <laughs> hey, there's some poopies. Look, we'll, go, we'll clean it up. We'll clean it up. Clean up that poop. The next boy dodo is Darren, yes. We should have started with Darren and Dina, or Dina and Dawn. Yeah, that's what we should have started with. <laughs> uh, 
Now I'm getting used to the game again. It takes, you know, sometimes you just have to play it for a little while to get used to it again. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I, I say that as I flounder around to find my enclosure that I'm trying to build. Uh, this one, I also, I think we, I think the zoo is kind of big and spread out. And I think I'd like to do a smaller one. For our Pleasant View Zoo. You once had a penguin devour a zebra in Zoo Tycoon 1? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we're all done over here. I think the only thing we need to do is add our turtles. Oh, and no, no, no. I lied. We have to do our gate. And we have to assign our zookeeper. So I'm going to assign... Where did uh, Fraven go? Fraven Pooth! Fraven Pooth! You're not doing your job! Look at all this poop! Oh, that's not poop. Never mind. That's weeds. There she is. Uh, we're going to give her the assignment of the turtles and then we're gonna put those in uh we've got one female and one male so let's have a look hello hello yes i will wash you african spurred tortoise i will wash you both oh yes heat lamp heat lamp I'm gonna poop on that, Betty Bongo. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, let's get them a heat lamp. Good, good call. Yes. I'm gonna put it out here. I don't know if they actually need it, but why not? Why not? Take that heat lamp, guys. That'll be cute. Uh, okay, and let's, oh, let's learn about them. Let's learn about the animals. African spurred tortoise. Um, they are from the North African desert. When it is excessively hot, the African spurred tortoise salivates over the front of its body to keep cool. Ew! While African spurred tortoises need a high fiber vegetarian diet, fruit is bad for them. In fact, most of the foods in the produce section of grocery stores are too sugary or too high in protein for the, their digestive systems. The African spurred tortoise is the third largest species of tortoise in the world. Only the Galapagos giant tortoise and Aldabra tortoise are larger. Unlike some tortoises, African spur tortoises don't hibernate because the temperature in the, Sahara, in the Sahel Desert, where they are from, never gets low enough for hibernation. The African spur tortoise is the largest land tortoise on the African continent, weighing 105 kilograms, 240 pounds. These large animals require large amounts of space. They are also very strong and require sturdy exhibits when housed in zoos. African spur tortoises require a high fiber diet to remain healthy. In the wild, they graze on mixed grasses, clover, and the pads of prickly pear cactus. They also need foods that are high in calcium because they grow to be so large. They depend on succulent plants for their water supply. These tortoises are very aggressive towards each other from, time, from the time they hatch. Males occasionally ram into each other and try to flip each other over. When the weather gets too hot, African spurred tortoises burrow to avoid dehydration. If there is mud available on a hot day, they cover themselves in it as much as possible, even flipping it up onto their shells with their legs. To avoid the extreme temperatures of the day, they are most active at dusk and at dawn. They sometimes bask in the morning sunshine to warm up after a cold night. Aww! <laughs> They're thick! Thank you so much for the six month uh, Prime Sub Mia Cool Pants 97. Thank you. Uh, they are cute. They're so cute. Hold up. Hold on. Let me look at you again. Oh, Look at him go! I mean, if you think about it, the graphics are pretty good. <gasps> Tina is now pregnant! The graphics are pretty good for 2004, but Tina is pregnant. <laughs> Tina! Yes! Uh, where's her little pregnancy thing? Oh, there it is. Pregnant? Yes. Tina! <laughs> yeah! That didn't take long at all. I feel like the bongos took the longest to have a baby. Uh, out of all of our- out of all of them. Now let's see if anybody's going down to see the turtles yet. I think- I really think we need to put bathrooms down here and like maybe- let's- let's make this like a little rest area because they're gonna get- they need to go to the bathroom <laughs> down here. <laughs> let's put some- uh, drink stands or something down here, too. Hot dog. What do we have besides hot dogs? 
We've got, oh, we've got water. They need water in the desert. You need to get some water. And what other, what else? Soda? Oh, hamburgers. Hamburgers and water. That's what you get down here. We'll actually put it. We'll put them right here. Oh, I can't. I gotta sell that. I gotta rebuy it. You can't move the stands for some reason. Wait, what are... Oh, no. What is the theming on that? Oh, crap. I put some weird themed objects. I think that was themed for, like, Tundra or something. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're going with hot dogs. We're going with hot dogs and soda. <laughs> hot dogs and soda and... A bathroom that I can't move. That I'm gonna sell and lose money on again. I f you gotta be very careful where you place stuff because you can't move it. And I just kind of want to do these along here. Uh, we need some trash cans for sure. And we need... We need some tables. But we have plenty of room for tables out here. I'll put, a, I'll put three tables... Tnift is really thirsty. Oh my god, Tnift. Why don't you get some water? I don't know what to tell you. Get some water. Why is she thirsty? She shouldn't be. Oh no, this needs to be one longer. Needs to be one longer. And then we'll move this here, move this here, and move this here. And we'll put some trash cans. Dodo 6 just hatched! Dodo! This is Darren. This is little Darren. Wait, is it a- No, it's a girl! It's a girl! What's another D- Uh, Darlene. Darlene. Yes. <laughs> this is little Darlene. Aww, we got another little girl! Look at all the dodos, man. You can stuff a bunch of dodos into a small enclosure. They can just live, like, really close together. <laughs> Tnift, you fat- Tnift! Why are you so thirsty? There's water, like, literally right there. It's like, liter- Why are you going to greet Ted Balloon right now? Why are you greeting Ted Balloon? Oh, now she's going to drink water from- It says going to drink water. Nope, now she's going to greet Ted Balloon. She keeps changing her mind. He's like, Ted, I love you so much. I can't drink water in your presence. <laughs> you can release the animals into the wild in this game. I don't think you can sell them. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think so. She's thirsty for Ted. <laughs> Go drink, Tnift. Go drink, Tnift. No, stop it. She just keeps greeting Ted. Okay, hold on. I'm going to bring, I'm going to, here. I'm going to put water right in front of her face. I'm gonna put it right here. Look, Tnift! Oh no, she's going now. Is she going? Tnift, stop! Drink the water, please! Please, Tnift! You're gonna die! <laughs> what was that move? He just scooted out of the way. There, drink, please, Tnift, drink, please. No, stop greeting her! To Ted! I'm moving you over here, Ted! You get. You leave her alone! Now she can drink. I had to get him out of the way. Oh my god, Ted. <laughs> Tina, drink. Drink. Okay, she's good now. He's still trying to greet her. He's You guys can't see it, but he's still trying to greet her. Yeah. <laughs> Tina has the romance aspiration. She had no wants besides woohoo with Ted. That was it. That was it. Now we're now we're giving the animals aspirations. What's wrong with us? Ooh! Our our zoo went up another half a star. New objects are available. Uh, I wanted to go check on the the turtles. And I wanted to see if anybody was coming down here to see the turtles yet. Uh let me see what else we can research. Oh, the kangaroo bouncy ride. I'm gonna put one of those down here because the kids will play on it and make them happy. If you put some of these around. Uh, so we'll put some of those down there. 
for the children's. For the children's. And I guess that's all we've got. I swear there were light, there were street lights you can get. I think when we play next time, uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do free form. You guys were right. I should have done free form to begin with, because it would just be so much easier. Because we have all the animals and everything. Oh, also we've got a gift cart. Let's put a gift cart somewhere. And having a large flat. Uh, map is going to be much better, too. I hope that they can use these. I hope they can use these. I don't see anybody coming down here. Oh, there's one dude. There's one dude. Or lady. I don't know. Bobby just grew up! Bobby's a Bobby's a grown bongo now. Oh, oh, look, they're having a great time. Our guests are having a great time, though. Yeah, I need to take those pictures. But let's see, what do we need? A uh, gift cart? Oh, which I just put down. Perfect. Let's go get a picture of the gift cart. Uh, right here. Oh, what the heck is that? What is that? Oh my god, what is that? Is that a wallaby? I can't. What? What are you doing? Who? What? Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? Um, okay. We lost a half a star, damn it. It goes back and forth. I don't know what that was. I've never seen that before. Um, all right, but let's get a picture of the gift cart. Here we go. Get your gifts here. Get your gifts. Okay. It makes that little sound. You know that it worked. And then we need um, kangaroo bouncy ride, which we also just put down. Oh, there's even a kid on it. Perfect. There's a kid on it. No, I want to go. Oh, no. Get back on there, child. Get back on. Oh, well, fine. Fine, you little brat. <laughs> we'll just take a picture of it without you. Okay, and then a uh, small restroom, which is also right here. This is, this is like, super easy. A uh, small restroom. <laughs> That's an amenity. Okay. Oh! Okay, we did it all. Awesome. Uh, they... Blah, blah, blah. Guests are sure to be impressed by the accolades received by your zoo in this trade article, and your fame will increase as a result. Yay! I don't see it increasing. Is it gonna take time? Oh, yeah, we got another half a star. Your zoo has become more famous. Gotta take pics for Google Maps. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. This game is really fun. I'm definitely going to play this again. I'll probably play this again on Wednesday. But I think we're going to start over, like I said, and do a little Pleasant View Zoo. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it right. Because this is so spread out. Like, it's just, look how spread out it is. It's taken our guests forever to get down here to the, uh, to the city. Like, there's nobody down here. It's deserted. We got one person made it down here. This little kid. Oh, she bought a gift! Look, she bought a gift! Oh my god, that's so cute! Hold on, I wanna- let me see. What'd you buy? Hello, show me your toy. She bought a little bongo! Aww, it's cute! <laughs> she bought a little bongo! Little Bobby Bongo! I'm gonna take a walk through our zoo. Let's take a walk. We're gonna do- we're gonna do the for real Pleasant View Zoo next time, though. Hello, boxy looking child. Hello, big booby Yubi. <laughs> wow, you're wearing- looks like you're wearing a bra from the 1950s. <laughs> you got a bullet bra on. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> let's- let's go see where all the action is, because it ain't down here. <laughs> she was wearing all green. She was. Look, back in 2004 when flare leg jeans were still in style. Flare leg corduroys. I started to call her a sim. I started to say, that's what that sim's wearing. I call all pixelated people sims now. Oh, that's a terrible... Look, oh, that's a really bad path. <laughs> we need to fix that. Oh my god, they're twins! <laughs> they look just alike. Oh, that guy's stuck. He's stuck. Not too smart there, are you, fella? <laughs> He's just... You can't go through the fence. I mean, I see you trying, but... It, it, 
just turn around. Turn around, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> the other twin got the brains. He did. He did. Um, yeah, they, they have a limited number of models, apparently. Um, here's our little food court. Let's see what's going on at the food court. Hello. What's on that sign? Harry Margaritas. <laughs> Dina's pregnant. Yes, Dina. Dina's gonna have little babies. <laughs> she got Dina got pregnant by Dawn. Dina got pregnant by Dawn. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. I love this so much. This is hilarious. Uh, Betty just got pregnant. Bet Tinift has given birth! Tinift! What do we have? Oh, we got a little baby girl! It's a girl! I know you guys can't see, but it's a girl. Oh, your public relations department has a plan to brighten up your zoo and attract more business. The public relations experts feel that a series of promotional posters showing zoo guests enjoying themselves will draw more people to your zoo and also bring a smile to visitors already in the park. They want you to take three different photos. A guest dancing next to a sound rock. A guest talking to a hand puppet gift item. And a guest mimicking one of the animals. That sounds really hard. I No, I don't want to do that. That's hard. Uh, Tinift has a little girl. What are we going to name her? I need a T or a G. What's a T or a G name? From Pleasant View. <laughs> mm, Gia. Gia. That's my Pleasant View, but I'll take it. This is Gia Gazelle. Little Gia. Little Gia Gazelle. I still to this day regret that I didn't name Gia Gina. Why did I not name Gia Gina? I don't know. Even when I'm not playing The Sims, I'm playing The Sims, I know. I know. <laughs> if you had no visuals of the screen, you would just totally think I was playing The Sims. Yeah, I'm like, Dina just got pregnant by Dawn! <laughs> yeah. Amina? Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. I like that. Uh, okay, so I wanted to go back and finish looking at her zoo. What are you mad about? What are you mad about, kid? You're thirsty? There's a drink stand, like, literally right up there. Just go get something to drink and stop complaining. Look, this kid's using our uh, binocular thing. Dina's going to lay an egg. <laughs> Dina, lay your egg, honey. <laughs> She's laying an egg. This is the first. Oh, two eggs. We got two eggs. Dodo 7 and Dodo 8. Man, we got a lot of Dodos. We got a lot of Dodos. Um, I've played Planet Zoo before and I don't really like it as much as this game, but I do own it. So I might play it in the future. Uh, we're going to sell that, those balloons too. We need that cash. <laughs> when you run the stream in the background, there's no difference from normal Sims 2 play. Except for the part where Dina laid an egg. <laughs> I don't think that can happen in the Sims. <laughs> Did she eat cheesecake? She must have eaten cheesecake. <laughs> okay, I keep trying to go through our zoo and I can't because, uh, because animals keep having babies. Bo has grown from young to adult. Oh, little Bo. Wait, he's an adult? Really? He doesn't, oh, he's growing. He's growing. Look at him grow. Oh, awesome. Okay, great. Let's check out our animals and see. Oh, we do have another, we have a male dodo. I don't know if we should put another male in. And I don't, I think we should put another male bongo in. I do. I think we should put another male bongo in. Because I think all of our bongos are like related now. <laughs> Let's throw a male bongo in the mix. And we'll name him. What are we going to name him? Anybody know any more? Watch Bo grow. Yeah. It's just like watching the birthday parties in The Sims. Uh, what are we going to name him? Ba, 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 ba. Brian? Benjamin? We didn't use Buck. Buck. Perfect. Buck. Thank you. Uh, Buck. Oh, ben we could go Benjamin Long too and Brandon. But we'll use Buck this time. 
before we move on to the townie names. Um, and then I definitely think we're gonna need another add another dodo in the mix, but we'll wait on that. We'll wait on that. Now back to my looking at my zoo, damn it. Be animals stop doing stuff. Okay. Oh, we already we already walked this part. I'm gonna walk back up. Hello, maintenance lady. Fra that was Fraven Pooth over there. And we're gonna walk down here. Uh, there nobody's down here. It's too far to walk. Does that lady have a scarf on? Nobody wants to go down here and see the turtles. You know, it's a it's a long walk. <laughs> I did just manually set up 500 Pleasant View Townies. I know. I should know all the names. I don't remember hardly any of them. I still, like, when I was playing my game, I was still like, Who the hell is that? Oh, yeah, I named them. <laughs> That's too many names to remember. Look, see, there is nobody down here. Nobody wants to come down here. They, it's just too far. Uh, but we, ha we got turtles. We got turtles down here. I see him. I see one. There he is. I would walk to the turtles too. But these, uh, I don't know what to call, I want to call them Sims so bad. These people, <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Zoo goers will not, see they, anywhere there's a fence, they could come up here and look at the gazelle. But like, I don't know what their problem is. They can see the gazelle over there. They can see the turtles down here. Look at all these amenities. Maybe I need to put some benches and stuff. They're like, screw that. I want to put a fountain in the middle of that. Okay, I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, they're blocky. Zoo folks. Guests! Guests! Have you ever integrated any townies in my personal Pleasant View? Uh, not yet. Not yet, I haven't, but I will. It's just like none of my sims have fallen for a townie yet. But if they do, they can. Oh, look at the dodos! Oh, I'll replenish the berries. Ooh! You have the opportunity- Why So many challenges! You have the opportunity to obtain an animal that has been rescued from an illegally run animal meal. The species has not been disclosed and your cost will be 3800 to ship the animal to your facility. While it's likely that the animal is in the lower risk category, there's also a good chance it is vulnerable or endangered, in which case it would be a valuable acquisition. Should you accept this opportunity, your crated animal will be delivered. Oh yeah, we're taking it. We're doing it. I, I always do this. I Because I'm like, what are, you, what are we going to get? Oh, where is it? Oh, where did it? Oh, hold on. Hold on. I got to pause. I, we got to find it. Where's the front? <gasps> there it is. Crated animal. Biome wetlands? Ah, crap. It's a wetlands. Y'all, I don't think we... We don't have any wetlands. We're gonna have to make wetlands. <laughs> We're gonna have to make some wetlands over here. Okay, hold on. Um, de Let's go to... The wetlands are, can be over here. It's fine. Wow, the wetlands have a lot of trees. We're doing a wetland. We're doing wetlands. Okay. <laughs> There's the wetlands. We definitely need water. I wonder if it's going to be like an alligator or something. I, I don't know what it's going to be. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. We'll put a big thing of water. And what else did it tell us about the animal? Um, that's all it says. It's a gender and location. That's it. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a greater flamingo. Oh, it's a great. I didn't see that. It's a greater flamingo. Um, low risk. Damn it. We paid 3,800 for a flamingo. <sighs> okay. Well, that's all right. It'll be cute. Uh, let's bring it over here and let's fence it in. Let's fence him in. Gonna fence in the flamingo. Fencing him in. I hope that this will contain the flamingo. It may not. We may have a, flam a flamingo on the loose. Maybe I should just go ahead and do it. 
But this is going to be very pricey. It's going to be very expensive. We hardly have any money left. Thanks a lot, Flamingo. I'm blaming it all on you. Okay, let's uncrate. There. Greater Flamingo 1. And you have no mates. They have no mate or anything. No, I don't think they can... I don't think the ones in here can fly. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, we gotta get you some shrimps. Let's see. I'm gonna put... We're gonna make the viewing area over here. We'll put some shrimp. I don't think you need water, but I'm gonna put water... Oh my god, that's so expensive. No, I'm not. Screw that. You better drink... You better drink out of the pond. Uh, enrichment... Misty Spring. That's 1500 No, you're getting a bowl. You're getting a bowl. <laughs> That's all you get. Uh, there's no shelter. We've got plenty of trees and stuff, so uh, we can put some rock. Nah. That's fine. You're good. We have to put a fence here. I'll put it, like, right here. And then we need to assign a zookeeper. I think we need another zookeeper, y'all. Who is this? Who is this? Bobson Dugnut. Yes, shrimp is what gives them the pink color. Yes, it is. Uh, this is Bobson Dugnut. His name's already But Naru. <laughs> but we're changing it to Bobson Dugnut. Bobson Dugnut. <laughs> and then we're going to give you an assignment, Bobson. Of the flamingo enclosure. And then we have to move our path down here. Um, and then we'll make a view little viewing area. Like this. No, I don't like, I don't, I don't like that. No, I'm not trying to buy, I'm not, no. Yes. <laughs> this is, this is funky looking. That's what we'll do. There, that's nicer. That's much nicer. And let's put a couple benches and all of our stuff down here. Okay. And let's put our donation box. Gotta get those donations. We'll put some binoculars, because I know you guys can't see out there. Okay, good. Good, and we only, we have $826 left. Once again, I wanted to say simoleon so bad. The flamingo's name is... There's no F names, so we will have to name her... We'll have to name her something. Flamingo. Yes, flamingo. <laughs> flamingo. Flamingo the flamingo. Perfect. Now, let's go. What's really sad, though, is she has no uh, company. She has no company at all. At least she's close to the, to the other exhibit, so people will actually come and see her. Uh, but I feel really bad because we don't have we don't have any flamingo. I don't even know. Let's let's see what we can learn about her to see how many stars we have to get. Where are you, flamingo? Where did you go? Where did you go, my darling? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Um, okay, she. so you need a one-star zoo. To unlock the Greater Flamingo in challenge or campaign games, you must earn a one-star zoo. Is that the only way you can get them? Oh. Okay. Well... Flamingo is the Latin word for flame. Did you know that? And a group of flamingos is called a pat. Yeah. The legs of the lingo bend backwards and it eats upside down. <laughs> they need to run a few paces to gather speed in order to fly. I don't think they fly. They can fly away in, this, in the game. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with her, the name. We are earning money, though, look. We totally are. 
But yeah, I feel really bad because I don't think we can get another one. I don't know how we get another one. Maybe we'll get one now. I'll keep trying. Get out of here, moose. I don't know. I was hoping we'd get something better than a flamingo, honestly. <laughs> That's all right. I'm also, I don't know what I did here. I don't know what's going on with the fence over here. Can they see the flamingo through the trees? Yeah, I think they can. I'm sure they can. They can also use the... They can use this. Look, this kid's using this thing. He's right there, kid. She's right there. You don't need to use those. But yeah, that is a lot of trees right there. Maybe we'll uh, delete those. There, now they have a little bit of a better view. Aw, little flamenco. Oh, you're hungry, kid? You're hungry, huh? Where's the food? It's pretty far away. <laughs> uh, and who's this? James R. Sazanovich Jr. Wow, that's a pretty in-depth name there, James. Uh, yeah, you like the flamingo? Put some money in the box. Put some money in the box, James. You like what you see? Oh no, our flamingo's dirty. I'll wash you, don't worry. I'll try. I'll try to wash you. No, I can't get in there. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming, flamingo. I'm coming. Bella's pregnant. Bella, who'd she get pregnant by? Bobby. Bobby got Bella pregnant. <laughs> oh, God. Well, this was fun, guys. I think it's about time. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the stream here before anything else crazy happens. Of course, I get a challenge. The animal... Ha I have so many challenges. I don't know what's going on. I'll get a cash grant of 6300 if your zoo can go for 30 days without any of your animals reaching a pressing or critical hygiene need. I'll accept. Whatever. Oh. Oh, that's the one I lost. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's save. We'll save this as Biome Square Zoo. Uh, because I want to make a smaller, more compact zoo. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna have to get rid of some dodos. <laughs> okay, I'm stopping right there. I'm stopping right there. <laughs> Simovich, yeah. So thank you guys so much for joining me for Zoo Tycoon 2. I love this game so much. It's one of my favorite games ever. Um, I'm probably going to play it again on Wednesday. And if you didn't know, I'm taking a break from The Sims, so I'm not going to be streaming The Sims for at least six weeks. Um, so, you know, take that however you want. Come to my other streams or don't. I'm going to be playing other games. And uh, also, I'm going to be making vlogs on my second channel, Life Plus Cindy. So go check that out if you want to see vlogs from me. I got a lot of stuff planned for my vlogs. I'm having a really good time with it. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably play other games, too. Not just this, but right now I want to play this. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you so much for the subs and the bits. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys uh, back here on Wednesday, as far as I know. I think anything's going to change. I got freaking jury duty, y'all. I got jury duty uh, in the first week of July. I have to go. You have to go or you go to jail. So, yeah, I'm really, like, not looking forward to that. Sucks. <laughs> that sucks. They'll never select me to sit on a jury, ever. They will never select me. I am not who they want. I just go in there and I'm like, I watch Law & Order every day. And they're like, okay, you can leave. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. It sucks, doesn't it? Uh, I just tell them I love Law & Order and they tell me to leave. <laughs> this is the second time I've had jury duty since we moved here. Um, okay, anyway, uh, enough, enough about that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me again. And uh, yeah, don't forget to follow on my personal stuff because I'm going to be much more active on there over the next six weeks than I am on my Sim stuff. So you can follow my per my personal Twitter uh, is Life Plus Cindy, Instagram Life Plus Cindy, and um, YouTube Life Plus Cindy. Um, but I'll still be in the Discord and I'll still be around the Sims community. I'm just kind of taking a break from the game. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.